Welcome to Bikini Bottom, where can be found some of the finest specimens of undersea life. <laughs> well, uh, you know. <sighs> an award? I never got an award before. Eee! Look, Rock, I got an award! Jellyfish, I got an award! Island, I got an award! I gotta show SpongeBob! Hold still, Gary. Almost done. Hey, SpongeBob, guess what? I got an award! That's great, Patrick. What's it for? See for yourself. For outstanding achievement in achievement. SpongeBob SquarePants? SpongeBob SquarePants? That's a funny way to spell my name. Uh, Patrick, I think that award is for me. You must have got it by mistake. But it's shiny. Um, yeah. But you know what else is shiny? Ice cream! Exactly! I can find it! Is it in here? No, don't! That's my... <laughs> award closet. <laughs> I won an award! Aw, oh, Patrick, don't cry. <laughs> You'll get an award one day. I'm never going to get an award, because I've never done anything. But you're Patrick Star. You can do anything you want. That's easy for you to say. You're SpongeBob. Patrick, if you want to win an award, you have to do something. Hmm. I want to defeat the giant monkey man and save the ninth dimension. <laughs> Me too. But that sounds a little hard. Why don't we start smaller? I want to defeat the little monkey man and save the 8th dimension. Smaller. Doctor? Smaller. Fireman? The smallest you can think of. A job at the Krusty Krab? Yeah! I do things at work all the time. <laughs> then let's go! Boy, it sure was nice of Mr. Krabs to give me a job. And at $50 an hour, too. When I started working here, I had to pay Mr. Krabs $100 an hour. Hey, Squidward! Guess who just got a job? Guess who just quit. Do I get my award yet? You have to work for it, remember? Tartar sauce. Pick up order. <laughs> Do I get my award now? No, you have to take the tray to the customer. Okay. Almost. Try again, and this time make sure the food gets to the table. Like that? Nope. Barnacles! Let's try something different. All you have to do is answer the phone. Aye aye, Captain. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick! I am not a Krusty Krab. Uh, Patrick, that's the name of the restaurant. Fish paste! It looks a little dusty around table three. How about you sweep it out? What's the point? I can't do anything right. You'll do fine.
Hey, pal, you just blow in from Stupid Town? Keep trying, Patrick. I've got a load of awards for SpongeBob SquarePants. <sighs> Why can't I do anything right? <laughs> 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 <sighs> Kitchen! I'm never gonna get an award. Don't give up, Patrick. This time I've got something I know you can do. We're gonna open a jar. Easy. Now you try. First, get a jar. Patrick, that's a pickle. Yes? You need a jar. No. 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 Try this. Now, take the lid off the jar. Just relax, lift your hand. Great, we're almost there. Now, put your hand on the lid. No, the lid. The lid. The lid. The lid. The lid. The lid, 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 freeze. Almost there. Now head for the lid. Cold. Warmer, warmer, warmer. You're hot. You're on fire. Oh, it burns. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. Do exactly as I do. Exactly as I do. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Exactly as you do. Oh no, I broke it! No, no! Patrick, you did it! I did? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, touchdown! <laughs> that was great, Patrick! You really got the hang of it! Yeah! Remember when I had my hand up and I put it on the lid? Oh yeah! Then I took the lid off, and I thought I broke it. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't. I opened the jar with my hand, and it was all because you showed me how to do it. I'm never going to forget this. Patrick, you do exactly what I do, and you'll have an award in no time. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh Good morning, SpongeBob. Wow, it's amazing how a simple change of clothes can make a guy look just like me. Yup, if I'm gonna be an award winner, I've got to dress like one. That's creepy. But flattering. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm, I'm ready, ready, I'm re ready, I'm ready, I'm huh? ready. Well, back to the old grind. Well, back to the old grind. Huh, forgot my hat. Uh, me too. You're copying me! Yes. Why are you doing that? So I can win an award like you. Well, it's annoying, so stop it! Stop it. <coughs> Say, you're good. Thanks. Ha! <laughs> Darn. Darn! Mary had a little lamb. Whose fleece was white as pickled, pickled fish, fish lips. lips. <coughs> sea weevil. Gorgie Schmorgy. At, At least I'm safe inside my mind. At least I'm safe inside my mind. Stop! <laughs> Stop copying me! There's no award for that! Well, I guess it's safe to go back in now. <laughs> Patrick, how long are you going to keep this up? <gasps> Until I have as many awards as you. <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh, no, we won't. 
Not much fun being me now, huh, Patrick? Are you kidding? I used to do this way before I started copying you. <laughs> what the? My turn! <laughs> Oh man, I wish I had the old Patrick back, but he just wants to be like me. Hi. Hi, I'm Patrick Star. I'm the laziest, pinkest starfish in Bikini Bottom, and I wish I were me and not SpongeBob. What's so great about being a big pink loser? Exactly. I was never closer to an award than the minute I started copying you. But Patrick- Patrick's not here! Trophy delivery! Another trophy? Oh great! What's it for this time? For doing absolutely nothing longer than anyone else. Patrick! This trophy's for you! <gasps> Yay! <laughs> so what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna go protect my title! <sighs> so you thought I was kidding, huh? No, in Bikini Bottom, excellence can be found even under a rock. Sandy, hey Sandy, hey Sandy. Uh. Wow. Howdy, SpongeBob. How do you like it? What is it? It's a rocket ship, duh. I'll meet you downstairs and show you around. Wow. What are you gonna do with it? I'm going to the moon, SpongeBob. <gasps> the moon? Can I go? No way, SpongeBob. Especially after your little mishap with my whirly bird. Besides, there's not enough room for you. Uh, but I don't take up that much space. <sighs> See? I can fit in here. Mmm, cozy. I need that drawer. Well... How about this? Or this? Or this? SpongeBob, this isn't for fun. See this? This is science. I don't have time for games, and I don't have time for stowaways. Fine. Put me in the brig. I don't mind. That's the air vent, SpongeBob. I need that too. Oh, please. Can I go? Can I? Can I? Huh? Please. Ugh, all right. Y'all can ride in the cargo hold if you just- Yeah! Go into the moon! Moon ride! Moon ride! Moon ride! But this time, just don't touch anything, okay? Wow! Look at that pop gun! Are we gonna go hunting aliens on the moon? Aw, oh, shush, silly! This is for harvesting moon rocks! Well, when you're done playing with rocks, you could use that for some serious alien hunting. Aliens? Are you nuts? I've been to the moon. There are no aliens. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. How could you be so naive? There's evidence all around us. How do you explain Atlantis, Cowlix, 99 cent stores, and what about those mysterious circles that pop up in kelp fields overnight? <gasps> There's one now! SpongeBob, you don't know the first thing about outer space. Now go home and get some shut-eye. Be here tomorrow at the crack of dawn and leave your crazy alien notions behind. Hurry up! Ugh. Ugh. 
Hi, SpongeBob. What is it, Patrick? Can't you see I'm sleeping here? Well, I know you're going on that moon trip tomorrow, and I just wanted to bring you something. A present? No. SpongeBob, is Sandy's rocket alien proof? There are no aliens, Patrick. Just ask Sandy. Huh. Well, then I guess you won't be needing this alien repellent for your trip. Alien repellent? Let me see that. New alien out window protectant. Does not stop burglars. Well, I guess you're right, Patrick. We better go spray those windows. Look at how big it is, SpongeBob. It's pretty impressive, all right. Come on! We're just here to spray the windows, Patrick. Whoa, how do you think we get inside? We don't, we're just spraying the... <coughs> windows. I opened it, SpongeBob, come on! <coughs> Holy sea cow, SpongeBob. This must be the control room. Yeah, just don't touch anything. Huh? Look, I'm winning! Patrick, cut that out! Patrick, come on! We can't hang around here! This is Sandy's rocket, not some kind of fun... house? Woohoo! Yeah! High score! Hey, Patrick, what game was that anyway? I don't know, but let's see what this does. Patrick, I don't think we should... I like rockets. More! More! No more! <laughs> okay, one more. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Let's go. Oh, wait! I think this one starts it. Patrick, what are you doing? I'm the space traveler here, and I would happen to know that that particular button is right over here. Uh. <gasps> We've started the rocket! Uh, SpongeBob... <laughs> Hang on, buddy! <laughs> hey! <gasps> Look! We're in space now! Whee! Whoa, whoa, hey, somebody get me down! Or up or something! <laughs> <laughs> hey, SpongeBob, watch this. Hey, you've got your toothpaste in my peanut butter! <laughs> 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 Hey, Patrick, I can do this. Hey, who turned the heavy back on? We must be landing. All right. Sometimes that SpongeBob is as dumb as a sack of peanuts. Wow. It sure looks a lot like home. <gasps> hey, look! It's Gary! Come here, Gary! Gary! Wait! Don't go near it, Patrick! Can't you see this is all a trick? The aliens are projecting our memories onto the environment. They're trying to confuse us, Patrick. So you mean they've taken what we thought we think and make us think we thought our thoughts we've been thinking, our thoughts we think we thought? I think? Okay, but I'm not going to fall for it. Meow. Yeah. You got him, SpongeBob. Won't Sandy be proud? <gasps> Sandy. Oh, I forgot all about her. She's going to hate us for stealing her rocket. But won't she feel silly when I bring home a real live alien? Oh, <laughs> she'll love me. Come on, Patrick. The more the merrier. Alien hunting! Alien hunting! Shh. Quiet, Patrick. Don't let them know that we're onto them. Uh, yeah! Alien hunting! I saw that on TV, too. Gee, Patrick, 
Let's drop in on our old pal Squidward and see what he's up to. Make sure that your gun is pumped. Look at it, Patrick. It's disgusting. Grandma. It's even uglier up close. Let's begin the analysis. Wait, what's that? <coughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Patrick, do you know what this thing is? Stinky. No, it's an egg sack. <coughs> Pardon my French, but get this thing off me! What the, huh? Patrick and SpongeBob, get out of my bedroom and give me back my tentacles. It's awake! Let's capture the little phony. Get away from me! Ahoy there, lads! Up a bit late to be playing pirate, ain't ye? <laughs> uh, uh, wait! Uh, don't shoot! Uh, okay, okay, shoot me, but don't take me money! We don't want your money, Moon Man. Look at them squirming around in there. Gross. Well... There's plenty more where those came from. SpongeBob, what are you doing here so late? <laughs> SpongeBob, I think we might have to make a second trip. There's no time for that. Just push harder. SpongeBob. What are y'all doing? I can't turn my back on you for two seconds without you causing a whole mess of trouble. Why look at ya, bagging up all your friends and neighbors just like they were a fresh crop of hickory smoked sausages. You darn turned my little science experiment into a disaster. You two ought to be ashamed of yourself. Nice try, Sandy. Or should I say, Miss Alien Pants? <laughs> Aliens? Is that what this is about? This isn't the moon! We're still in Bikini Bottom! It just goes to show, you can't trust anyone. So, you were an alien all the time, and you didn't even tell me! I didn't even know. Yeah, well I got you now. Oh, but it's not you that's got me. It's me that's got me. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on Sandy's face when she sees this. Sandy, I'm back. Wow, Bikini Bottom sure looks different. Uh-oh. SpongeBob, the aliens would like a word with you. <laughs> Attention, beachgoers. You are trespassing. You have exactly 17 minutes to haul your carcasses off the site. For the Chum Bucket Mega Bucket. Do you hear something? <sighs> okay, have it your way. I don't, I don't mind bulldozing each and every one of Mommy, you. look! Somebody left this toy tractor here. Put that down, Billy! That has germs on it! <laughs> oh, Mom. You'll see. You'll all see! The future site of the Chum Bucket Mega Bucket must be clear of these cretinous beachgoers. 
but it's becoming increasingly obvious. I can deny it no longer! I am small. I need someone big to clear the beach for me. I need... <gasps> SpongeBob! Stepping on the beach, do 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 do. Stepping on the beach, do do do. Stepping on the beach, do 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 do. Stepping on the beach, do do do. Yes, he's the one. <laughs> Hello, I'll have one, two, please. Thanks. One, please. Excuse me. One, please. Sorry, kid, we're all out. Aw, oh, barnacles. Huh? Plankton, what are you doing here? And why are you crying? Oh, hi, SpongeBob. I'm crying because I've got these two ice cream cones. But I only need one! <laughs> I don't know what to do with the other one! <laughs> I'll eat one of those ice cream cones for ya. <gasps> SpongeBob, would you do that for me? Sure. <laughs> SpongeBob. SpongeBob. SpongeBob! Yeah? Isn't it great to get the things you desire? Like that ice cream cone, for instance. You can have anything you want with a little training. Training? Yes! You just need to be more assertive! And I can show you how. Assertive, huh? That's right. Anything I want? Sounds great! Wonderful. <laughs> SpongeBob! Don't let that guy sit on you! Assertiveness lesson number one! Tell him to get off! Um, excuse me, sir. You are sitting on my body, which is also my face. No, no, no! Be assertive! Beep beep. Ugh, not insertive. Ugh, SpongeBob, you missed your chance. You've got to be aggressive to get the things you want. You're too soft. But I'm a sponge. Don't say it. Huh? There's the guy who took your ice cream. Don't you want it back? Ice cream! Listen, you. My friend's got something to say. What? Who said that? Was it you? Tell him off, SpongeBob. Assert yourself! That's my ice cream cone. Great! Now let him have it! You can have it. Say thanks! <laughs> no! <sighs> I'll show you how. Hey, Pencil Neck! Yeah, you! Slither over here! Surrender that ice cream cone, or every waking moment for you will become a swirling torrent of pain and misery! <laughs> hey, that guy was crying! Those were tears of joy! He was happy you asserted yourself! Yeah! You see how wonderful life can be? When you're maniacal? Uh, I thought it was called assertive. Whatever. Well, if it got me this ice cream, then I like it! 
Mm-hmm. Oh? I found something! Um, excuse me? My metal detector broke. Can I use yours? Sure! SpongeBob, this is your next lesson! Be aggressive! Tell that guy to take a hike! Do you want to take a hike with me? Yeah. <sighs> now look what you've done! Tell that guy to go fall in a ditch! Hey, go check in that ditch! Wow! Buried treasure! Thanks! Oh, did you see that, Plankton? That guy found some buried treasure! SpongeBob, you'll never get it right! Tell that guy that you know karate and you'll tie him in a knot if you don't get your metal detector back! Hey, I'm gonna tie your shoe if you don't give that back! But... I'm wearing sandals! Oh, okay, never mind. It's alright, Plankton, he's wearing sandals. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, SpongeBob. I was just beginning to think that this might be a waste of time. No, no, no it's not! Forget it! I guess you don't have what it takes to be a stand-up guy. But what about airline food? What? Airline food! My gosh, what is up with that stuff? Thank you, good night! See, I can be a stand-up guy, see? SpongeBob, you'll never get what you want. You'll always let people step all over you. You're just like stairs. Wait, Plankton, give me another chance. Okay, but this is your last chance. Look at all those beach hogs soaking up your rays. Do you have what it takes to get a tan? Just watch me. <laughs> Ugh. Hey. Huh? Oh, what the hey, heck? What's the big oh, idea? What's the... Yes. My plan is beginning to work. They're leaving the beach. SpongeBob, that was wonderful. Is that an all over tan? Well, not all of me. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Look at that huge line at the hot dog stand. Assert yourself to the front! I'll do better than that. Yeah! <laughs> SpongeBob, that was genius! Look at all those kite flyers blocking your view! What? Breaking your wind! <laughs> huh? Hey, SpongeBob, throw us the ball! <laughs> what now? Let's just go home, I guess. <gasps> Plankton, did you see that? I was a regular alpha male! <laughs> Plankton? Plankton, all my asserting is driving everybody away. Exactly. You didn't tell me everyone would leave. Oops. <gasps> Mega Bucket! You used me for land development! <laughs> that wasn't nice. Haven't you figured it out, SpongeBob? Nice guys finish last. Only aggressive people conquer the world. <laughs> well, what about aggressively nice people? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> hey. Right. Wait, SpongeBob, stop! Here you go. One for you, one for you, and one for you. Uh, no, uh, it, it's it's disgusting. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I hit a reef with my new board, dude. No problem. Wow. 
killer! SpongeBob, stop! Before it's too late! Your kindness is bringing everybody back! <gasps> Get back! Wait! Oh, ow! Oh! Cowabunga! Thanks, dude! That was awesome! Gee, Plankton, I'm sorry about the chum bucket. Oh, forget about that. I just can't take so much kindness in one sitting. Need. Hatred. Volleyball, anyone? <laughs> Serve up! <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Yar har pearls, my daughter, I'll spit in your eye. Yo ho, pearls, a whale, and it's her birthday. Yar, yar, yar. Ta da! Thanks for the show, Dad. Now can we open the presents? <sighs> oh, all right. Presents for me, darling little sardine. Here you are. Oh, you shouldn't have. What is it, Daddy? It wouldn't be those totally hip new flipper slippers all of my friends are using, would it? Everyone wants them. Uh, they might be. Wee! Oh, you shouldn't have. Yay, you shouldn't have. I mean, Dad, you really shouldn't have. <laughs> Pearl, those are the finest fishing boots available. Dad, you ruined me. <laughs> but I got them for a bargain. <gasps> yeah, what am I going to do? I spent two whole dollars on these boots and now I'm stuck with them. Oh, uh, Mr. Krabs, can I get my paycheck? Sponge boy, me Bob! Come in, come in, right this way, laddie. Have a seat anywhere, but not on these beautiful, priceless boots. So, you want to get paid? Uh, sir, I can't see you. The boots are in the way. In the way? These boots never leave my sight. These are the most expensive, prized possessions I own. Wow, really? Why is that? They just look like any old ordinary boots. Ordinary boots? These are the only official Fry Cook boots. Only the finest Fry Cooks in the world are permitted to wear them. Part of a tradition. And these boots were given to me by the most famous Fry Cook in the sea. Who's that? Oh, uh, oh, well, his name's not important, but he was famous all right, don't you worry. I'm ready, I'm ready, I want those boots. Sorry, son, these boots are far too valuable. Hmm. I know, what if I give you my Krusty Krab paycheck? <laughs> Ooh, well, uh, paycheck? You got a deal. And what if I paint the Krusty Krab for free? <laughs> You've got a deal. And I'll throw in a year's supply of french fry orders. You got a... And... Uh, hold on there, lad. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Oh, You've got yourself a deal. <laughs> hey, Squidward. Do you like my new boots? Pretty cool, huh? Now I'm an official fry cook. Ugh, that squeaking is gonna drive us all crazy! Nonsense, Squidward. That squeaking is money to my ears. I mean music. Ugh, money, 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 money. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. What? Who's there? Oh, back to counting me money. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. What? What the barnacle is that? Arrgh. What? <laughs> uh. <sighs> that was the worst night I ever weathered. At least I'll have some peace and quiet at work. That's it, Mr. Krabs. I'm taking my vacation now. What's wrong, Mr. Squidward? I can't take the world's greatest fry cook anymore. I'll see you in a week. That fry cook's making me a fortune. What could be the problem? Hey, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob! <laughs> I, uh... I see you're still wearing them boots. Are you kidding? I love them! Could the world's greatest fry cook do this? <laughs> well, I don't, uh, I don't, uh... Or this. And watch this, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, I'll have the Krusty Special. But you, sir, I will squeak when it's ready. Could the world's greatest fry cook do that, Mr. Krabs? I... Uh... And watch this, Mr. Krabs! And this! 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 I've got to go to my office! I can still hear it! It's still coming through! The infernal squeak! Those boots have got to go! I think I need an aspirin. Gary, these boots have changed my life. I'm never taking them off. No. Good night, Gary. <sighs> Quiet money. Silence and money. Mr. Krabs! What is it, my boy? Oh, Mr. Krabs, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, son. <laughs> no, it's not okay. I lost the boots, your valuable boots. It's my fault I let you down. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Hold it, boy. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> yes, it is. Look, don't cry. I got some... Uh... Some magic oven mitts. They're not the same. <laughs> you were right. I wasn't ready for those blessed boots. Ugh, poor lad. <sighs> Excuse me? I didn't do it! Oh, <laughs> can I help you? Yeah, I'm ready to order. What'll you have? I'll take a... <coughs> what did you say? I said I'll take a... <coughs> huh? I heard his order, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> he says he wants... <coughs> what? And, uh... <coughs> what? 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 What's that? What's... What? I didn't... 
And watch this, Mr. Krabs. And this. 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 Stop it! Stop it! Don't you hear it? Yes, I did it. I did it. I took the boots. They're here under the floorboards. <laughs> oh, please make it stop. It's the squeaking of the hideous boots. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but I just can't take the infernal squeaking no more. <laughs> the deed is done. Um, why did you eat my boots, Mr. Krabs? Because, lad, you didn't need them. It's not the boots. It's the booty. I mean, uh, the person in the boots. You're a great fry cook. You really think so, Mr. Krabs? I do, son. Here's the paycheck I owe you. Plus a bonus. Oh, uh, well, there's your paycheck anyway. I need a vacation. Bye, Mr. Krabs. <sighs> a long week away from Bikini Bottom is exactly what I need. Just me and my darling daughter, Pearl. <laughs> Don't forget my new flipper slippers, Daddy. <laughs> darling, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, come on, Mr. Doodles. We haven't got all day. We've got to get down to me favorite restaurant, mine, where we're shooting our first ever Krusty Krab commercial. After this commercial airs, we'll be swarming with customers. I can already feel myself sweating money. <coughs> no, I got Squidward organizing the whole thing. He's, you know, artsy. What the... This looks expensive. Out of my way, coming through, move it or lose it. Squidward! <coughs> Why? What in Neptune's name is going on? We're making the commercial, Mr. Krabs. What you're doing is throwing away me money. I told you to rent only what is absolutely necessary. This is all necessary. Then what's all this useless junk? That's the useless junk for scene, uh, 28. Oh, well then how do you explain that? A second Krusty Krab? Mr. Krabs, everyone needs an understudy. Well, you got me there. But why do we need him? This job gets really stressful, Mr. Krabs. All right, get lost, all of ya! You. You're fired! Go on, scram, get out of here, ya moochers! That's right, keep moving! Except you, you stay. Well, this is just great. Now we've got no crew to make the commercial. What are you talking about, Squidward? We've got the cheapest crew in the world. You, me, and SpongeBob. Speaking of which, where is the little barnacle? I'm down here, sir. What are you doing, lad? Squidward said I could help by burying myself. Quit fooling and come on out. I need you to be in the commercial. <laughs> Me? In the Krusty Krab commercial? Me? Don't throw your butts at me, Mr. Squidward. We've got a timetable to keep. This thing airs tonight. Tonight? Tonight? Yup. I got a sweet deal on the primetime slot. 3.28 a.m. <laughs> it's almost on, Gary. <sighs> 
<laughs> yeah, I got butterflies too. This is the most exciting thing to happen in the history of history. Look, Gary, it's on! Oh, Jen, I've got a real problem. What's your problem, Amy? I've got all this money, and I don't know what to do with it. And I'm hungry. <laughs> Who's there? Where's that coming from? Yippee! It's, it's Mr. Mr. Krabs. Krabs. That's right, Amy. I heard all about your problem, and I'm here to help. Follow me! Where, Where are we? we? Why, we are at none other than the Krusty Krab. Did you say Krusty Krab? That's right, Krusty Krab. Home of the world famous Krabby Patty. What's a Krabby Patty? Why, it's only the most mouth-watering, appetizing food in the Seven Seas! <gasps> there I am, Gary! There I am! We start with a fresh patty, grilled and juicy. Add some crisp undersea veggies and cheese, topped off with some secret sauce. And some buns! Voila! A Krabby Patty! I want a Krabby Patty! Me too. How do you like them Krabby Patties, girls? Arr, 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 arr. <gasps> Look, Gary, there I am again, look! Two more satisfied customers. So why don't you come on in and have yourself a Krabby Patty today? The, the Krusty Krab, Krab. Come, come spend, spend your, your money here. That was the best 60 seconds of my life. Well, time for bed. Time to go do my favorite thing at my favorite place. <laughs> hey, you! Top of the morning. Hey, I saw you on TV last night. New Bran Flakes. Bold new taste, Bran Flakes. You did? Yeah, you were on a commercial. You're right. Wow, he actually recognized me. Yep, see you later, Bran Flakes. What a nice cereal box. <laughs> Weren't you that guy on TV? Yes, I am that guy. <laughs> How kind of you to notice. Ugh, weren't you that guy on the television last night? Yes, that was me. I- Ooh. Oh, please excuse me, sir. Oh, that's quite alright. Uh, SpongeBob. Wow, I'm getting recognized all over. Why, next thing you know, People are going to start doing things like holding doors open for- <gasps> Why, sir, I'm flattered. Really? I don't smell anything. <laughs> You're on your way. Huh. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can I get a napkin? Why, of course, good sir. And next time, feel free to approach me. It must be so degrading to ask from across the room. Now. Who am I making this bad boy out to? To my tail fin. I'll get it myself. F-I-N. There we are, darling. Huh. Looks like the shyness got the best of him. There you are, SpongeBob. I need you to No problem, Squidward. I got one already made out. Enjoy. To my tail fin. Yes, I'm that guy on TV. Hey, look! Please, good people! No photos at work. Here's the ketchup. Well, maybe just one. Pew! Another one? Pew! Okay! There you are, SpongeBob. Yes, pilot! I need you to- Ow! <laughs> All right, boy. Get in there and scrub the head and stop acting so predictable. 
<sighs> I'm so misunderstood. Alas, good people, even the brightest of stars glow weary, and I am no exception. But I will shine again after a quick break in my quarters. <gasps> Stay beautiful. Hey, were you able to catch Glenn the Pinkfish on Flannerman last night? No, how was he? Well, I knew this guy's acting was good, but his singing was phenomenal! I'm telling you, Vandor, if that guy was to cut a solo record, it would be a hit! Solo record... Hmm, so if I fire him and make his successor do twice the work and... Eh, uh, come in! Oh, it's just you, SpongeBob. Those heads better be beautiful! They are, Mr. Krabs, and so is mine. And now I gotta lay something on you, Krabs, baby. The only thing you better lay is some patties on the grill, fry boy! Nah, I can't take that gig, Crabber. That phase in my career is over. I'm an entertainer now. What in blazes are you talking about? Come on, Krabs. Let's think outside the box for a second. Commercials are old hat. The people want music. If I could change fate, I would, Krabsy. And I'm an entertainer deep down. A people's person. We're on the same page here, aren't we? Boy, those crabby fumes must have gotten to your head. Borrow Squidward's gas mask and get right back to work! I knew you'd understand. Well, thanks for the start. I'm out of here. Ugh. I've never felt such a strange combination of pity and indigestion. There he is! Hey, we've been waiting for you! Where have you been? How long are you going to keep us standing here? Well, SpongeBob, are you just going to stand there like a half-wit, mouth agape? Or are you going to fail these people's orders? Pipe down, Squidward. This crowd looks angry. They're not going to wait any longer. I think I need to give them what they need, and fast. I think so too, or Mr. Krabs will fire both of us. <gasps> On second thought, Keep them waiting. No can do, Squidward! These people demand entertainment! Enter what? How's it going, folks? Hungry! That's no problem, ladies and germs, cause SpongeBob is here to satisfy. Eating here was your idea. I'd like to call this little number... Stripe Sweater. The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. One with a collar, turtleneck, that's the kind. Cause when you're wearing that one special sweater. Squidward, this crowd is insatiable. Then why don't you get back in the kitchen, and grab some patties, and give them what they came here for? Juggling! Thanks, Squiddy. Is this some kind of joke? They want juggling and jokes at the same time. Tough crowd. Oh, now what's he doing? Hey, what do you call a vampire whose car breaks down three miles from a blood bank? A cab! We're losing our appetites! Uh, okay, there's a nun, an astronaut, and a hairdryer. We want patties! Well, the most I can juggle is three, but the show must go on. <gasps> Whoa! No! My career is over. All those years clawing my way up, all the people I stepped on, wasted. Hey, finally! That's what we've been waiting for! They seem to like it when I put this patty on the grill. I may be able to save this act yet. Roll with it, SpongeBob, roll with it! 
There's more where that came from, folks. Yay! Yay! You like that? It's what we wanted all along. It seems, it seems to, be, to working. be working. But how do but I do follow, I follow it, up? it up? Buns! Buns. It's a stretch, but we've all got to push the envelope sometime. Okay, folks, how do you like this? Yay! Oh, I'm breaking new ground. Time to get edgy. We want onions! Cheese! Yeah! Ready for the grand finale? Crabby well, SpongeBob, looks like you finally found your calling. I'll say, I'm so glad I gave up fry cooking for this. <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Need furniture! <laughs> Patrick, what's with the home improvement? Row, <laughs> row! Oh, sweep, 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 Well, Patrick, I came over to see if you wanted to go jellyfishing, but I can see you're busy having an episode. You know something, Spongebob? It's just all fun and games for you. Nothing really matters. Oh, let's go jellyfishing! We don't have any work to do. Life is just a big bowl of fancy assorted cashews, and nobody has anything to dust or to clean or to wipe or fabricate. But Patrick, the only thing I've ever seen you clean is your plate. <laughs> I don't know what to do, SpongeBob. You gotta help me. <gasps> Patrick, you forgot how to eat again. Come on, we'll get the funnel. No, it's not that, SpongeBob. It's worse. Darn, I like the funnel. Well, what is it then? Look! Hey, a note. Dear Patrick, your mom and I are coming out tomorrow for Starfish Day. Please try to remember. But don't try too hard, or you'll hurt yourself like last time. Love, Daddy. SpongeBob, my parents think I'm dumber than a sack of diapers. No, they don't, Patrick. Parents just like to push your buttons. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> that always cheers me up. But not today. Patrick, if your parents think you're dumb, then they must not know what dumb really is. But don't they watch television? That's what I'm saying, Pat. If your parents got to meet a real dummy, they'd realize what a genius you really are. But don't geniuses live in a lamp? And besides, we don't know any dumb people. Don't worry, Patrick. I'll be the dummy. When your parents see how dumb I act, they'll think you're the smartest guy ever. Math is power! A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, L, Q, R, W, X, Y, Z. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Son, you recognized us this time. Why wouldn't I recognize my own parents? <laughs> you never were a bright one. <laughs> <sighs> well, aren't you gonna show us inside? He probably forgot where it is. Oh, well, I know where it is. Oh, let me lead the way so we don't get lost, huh? Hold hands now. Okay, we're almost there. Let go on three. One, two, three. Good job. Pats, Pats for, for Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get the beverages. <laughs> Wow, son, you put the drinks in something this time. 
Ah, son, you must have been working all night to put these together for us. We love you. Mm. <laughs> Hooray, the idiot's here! I mean, I'll get it. Protective helmet, check. Meow. I'm supposed to look stupid, Gary. Meow. What could go wrong? What a surprise. Hi. Mom, Dad, meet my neighbor, SpongeBob. Hi. Hello there. How do you do? Hi. Put her there. He means shake. No, SpongeBob, no. Shake hands. No, SpongeBob. Grab my dad's hand. Grab it with only one hand. Good boy. Now move your arm up and down. So, SpongeBob, do you live nearby? Hi. No, SpongeBob, show them your house. No, not your blouse, your house. Uh... He lives in a fruit? That's unhealthy. <laughs> hey, SpongeBob, you want to stay for dinner? Does he always do this after he eats? Only on Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> Patrick, I think your friend might be broken. Yeah, it would take more than some masking tape to fix that guy. Whoa, is he gonna be okay? Oh, that's nothing. You should see him in the morning, prancing around yelling, I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! He drives all the neighbors crazy. Why, just the other day, our neighbor Squidward was... <laughs> ...was really no help for him. I mean, look at the way he's dressed. Only somebody with holes drilled in their head would wear that stuff. And how about his shape? I mean, I've heard of barrel-chested, but never box-chested! <laughs> 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 hey, SpongeBob, do you have any mascara I could borrow? <laughs> the boy wears makeup? What a card! <laughs> hey, Patrick. Patrick! Aw, he said my name. <laughs> when you train him to do that. <laughs> oh, he bit me. Patrick, meet me in the kitchen. Oh, I guess the dummy wants to have a private conversation. <laughs> <laughs> a dumb one! <laughs> <laughs> so... What's on your mind? Oh wait, I already know the answer. Nothing! <laughs> See? That's funny, cause you're dumb! Patrick, could you let up on the insults just a little bit? Oh, were those too complicated for you? I'll try dumbing them down a bit. Patrick, I get the feeling that you think I really am dumb. <sighs> That's just what I'd expect you to say. Dumb people are always blissfully unaware of how dumb they really are. I'm only pretending to be dumb. It was our plan, remember? Oh, SpongeBob. If only you could see how stupid you sound right now with your talk of imaginary plans. I'll tell you what, you've caught me in a good mood. I'll humor you. Go on. Go out there and act smart for everybody. Okay, I will. And don't worry. I'll keep this warm for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
I have a confession to make. I lied about being stupid. I just acted like a fool so you would appreciate Patrick a little bit more. I know how to talk and eat and do laundry. I even separate the darks from the lights. So what do you say we start over and try again? Hi, my name is SpongeBob SquarePants, and I am not a dummy. <laughs> Amazing! Three minutes in the kitchen and our son has taught him to talk in complete sentences. Ha <laughs> good work, son. It wasn't easy, Dad. But, 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 It looks like it's time for your next lesson, young man. Now you listen to me! I'm not dumb! I have a brain! See? Here's a picture of it. That must be actual size. <laughs> <laughs> no! It's normal size and fully functional! Watch! Uh, two plus two equals four. Ho oh, ho, son! You taught him math, too? No! And you taught him to sing. <laughs> oh, now he's short-circuiting. You might have taught him a little too much. <laughs> you know, son, I've always known that when it comes to brightness, well, you're about a 3 watt. But this guy... He's a wet match in a dark cave. He makes phone operators seem smart. But more importantly, son, he's shown me what a sharp, quick-witted boy you've become. <laughs> I feel like I'm really meeting you for the first time. Isn't that right, Janet? You bet, Marty. Janet? Marty? Who are you people? Marty, I'm scared. Excuse me? Does this lovely couple belong to you? They've been standing outside my house saying, Where's Patrick all day? It's driving me nuts! Mom! Dad! Wow, son. You actually recognized us this time. And you remembered to get dressed today. <laughs> oh, that's right, honey. We don't have a son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gary, looks like it's that time of week again. Bath time. Come on, let's go get the water started. You're gonna get in that tub, Gary. Now, Gary, we can do this the hard way, or the easy way. Or the medium way. Or the semi-medium easy hard way. Or the sort of hard with a touch of awkward, easy difficulty challenging way. So that's how you wanna play it, huh? Gary, check out this new toy! Fetch! Huh? New boomerang pet ball. Really works. Uh. <laughs> Guy! Gary! There's a bomb strapped to my chest! It's gonna explode in three seconds unless you take a bath! Please. I am going to assault your mind with subliminal messages. <whistles> oh, sorry you had to see that. Hello, fancy French restaurant. I've got a naughty snail here who won't take a bath. What? 
Can you say that again? Slow down, it's like you're speaking some other language. Hey, Gare, how about some leapfrog? Whee! Okay, your turn. Hey, Gare, how about some leapfrog? I've got a crisp dollar bill for the next fella to take a bath in this house. That didn't work either, huh? Gary! Gary, look what I found! It's an old pirate treasure map, revealing a location of buried pirate treasure in this very house! Come on, boy! Let's go get that treasure! Okay, Gary. Now 40 paces to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, uh, 40. <gasps> the treasure must be in here. Wow, Gary, look! A pirate treasure chest! Meow. Why, no, Gary, this isn't the bathtub. It's treasure. Look, the balloons. Don't drop them. <gasps> look at this brooch. Meow. Ugh, I don't know what a snail would want with a brooch. Now, why don't you just get in the tub? Get in the tub. Get in the tub. Get in the tub. In the tub. In the tub! Now, Gary, are you gonna get in this tub, or am I gonna have to? Uh, um, uh, um, Gary, uh, could, could you, uh, Gary, no! Gary! All right, Gary, you have duped and or frustrated me for the last time. So if I can't get you to come to the bath, I'll just have to bring the bath to you. <sighs> Gary. Bath delivery. Come back, Gary. I have something to share with you. <laughs> Dish is more like it. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Gary? Meow, 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 meow. Oh, stuck meow, in a tree. Meow, 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 meow. It's time to clean up your act, Gary. <gasps> huh? Oh no! I bathed Gary too hard and removed his skin! Meow, 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 meow. Gary! Bring that ladder back this instant! I am really not amused, mister. You are going to take a bath and you are going to get clean right now! Meow. I am so the boss of you! Meow. It may be a free country. But you live in my house under my rules. Meow. Don't use that tone of voice with me. You will do what I say when I say. 
What are you doing? I'm talking to you, mister! Do not go near that mud puddle! Gary the Snail, do you hear me? I am giving you three seconds to get away from that mud puddle! One! Two! Two and a half! Don't make me say three! Gary! 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 I'm a dirty boy. Meow. Yeah, yeah, Gary, I'm getting behind my ears. <sighs> Thirty six days without a customer. Uh, so hungry. Ah, Mr. Krabs, a customer. No food. Three days. Hold on, me bucko. Food's on the way. Uh, you got money, right? Yeah. SpongeBob, bring this guy some grub before he keels over. Oh, Krabby Patties, huh? Finest under the sea. Yeah, yeah, sure, but where's the pizzazz? Huh? Look at this place. I mean, what's the theme here? Underwater? It's boring. Food. Water. Atmosphere. Nobody goes to a restaurant for atmosphere. They go for food. Hey, Tom. Fred. Hey, you want to eat at the Krusty Krab? Nah, let's go to the Shell Shack. They've got a talking dog. Great. Say, what's a dog? <gasps> Money walking. I need to think up a gimmick like that to bring some people back in here. I have an idea. Wait. I've got an idea! And so, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to buy plenty of Krabby Patties as I... bury myself alive! No free refills. Hey everyone, listen! The talking dog at the Shell Shack is singing! Come on! <laughs> Mr. Krabs, I have an idea. <laughs> what am I gonna do? If I don't find an idea, I'll go out of business. Mr. Krabs, I have an idea. Why can't someone give me an idea? Mr. Krabs, I have an idea. Great Neptune in heaven, I need an idea! Mr. Krabs, I have an idea! What in the name of money are you waiting for, boy? Tell me! Okay, Mr. Krabs, prepare yourself. Don't bother sitting down, because you'll just stand up when you see this. Ta-da! Great Barrier Reef! That patty's spoiled! <laughs> ah, Mr. Krabs, it's not tainted meat. It's painted meat. Pretty patties! Available in six designer colors. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Squidward, look. Don't that look appetizing? Mmm, -mm, good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Give me an orange patty with extra purple. <laughs> What's next? Sequin milkshakes? Bow tie french fries? No. Pretty patties, pretty patties. <laughs> Stop it! 
I know this is a good idea. I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll open my own restaurant. You'll see. <laughs> hey, Patrick, are you angry too? Yeah. What's the matter? I can't see my forehead. What's your problem? I have a good idea and no one else thinks so. Me too! <laughs> Inflatable pants. What's your idea? I'm gonna open up a restaurant and sell pretty patties. Forget my dumb idea! That's great! Are you ready for the big rush, Patrick? Pretty soon those hungry customers will be lining up because we are open. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> huh? Patrick, how long have we been standing here? Oh, I gotta draw a new battery for this. What if Mr. Krabs was right? Maybe my idea is dumb. <laughs> SpongeBob, sometimes we have to go deep inside ourselves to solve our problems. I'm scared. Then I'm going in for you! Oh, sorry. Stupid inflatable pants. Did you find anything? Huh? Do you sell food here? <gasps> yes, sir. We sell pretty patties. That thing's green. <laughs> Green! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Krabs was right. What am I gonna do with all these? Hey, is that thing purple? Purple is my favorite color. <coughs> this isn't half bad. Hey, world! Pretty Patties is the best idea ever! <laughs> <laughs> we interrupt this program to bring you a special news announcement. This wild crowd behind me is screaming for Bikini Bottom's latest culinary sensation. Let's take a listen. Pretty Patties! Pretty Patties? It's easy to see Pretty Patties are popular. But what is it about them that drives Bikini Bottom feeders wild? They match our purses! They remind me of home! Pretty Patties rule! Mr. Squarepants, how do you explain all the success? Uh, I don't know. How can you make money with such a stupid idea? And how can you not make money with such a brilliant idea? <laughs> At first we didn't know what to do with all the money. We tried burying it, <laughs> shredding it, <laughs> and burning it. <laughs> but in the end, we decided to just give it all away. Come again, sir. I'm getting back in line. I don't believe it. I've got to see this for myself. Hey, watch it, buddy. I don't care how much you want your pretty patty. You're gonna have to wait in line like the rest of us. I never had a line. Who's number 46,853? I never had 46,853 customers. Here you are, sir. Stay pretty. <laughs> Alright. Mr. Krabs, is that you? 
Isn't this great, Mr. Krabs? The pretty patties are a big hit. They sure are, boy. You're doing pretty well for yourself. I guess you've completely forgotten about the Krusty Krab. No, sir, I haven't. Sometimes I really miss the old days back at the Krusty Krab. <coughs> I'll bet you miss Squidward, and the grill, and the crow's nest. Yeah, yeah! But do you know what I miss the most, Mr. Krabs? That tiny squeaking sound you get when you rub two pickles together. You know what I mean, Mr. Krabs? Uh, yes, yes, I do, lad. Well, the Krusty Krab's only a short walk away. Why don't you head on down for old time's sake? Oh, I can't leave, Mr. Krabs. What about the stand? Don't worry, lad. I'll watch the stand for ye. You will? No. I've got a better idea. I'll take this old roadside stand off your hands. For keeps. And in exchange... I'll give you the Krusty Krab, with Squidward, the Grill, and all those squeaky pickles. What did you say, Mr. Krabs? Here's the key to the Krusty Krab. She's yours now. Thank you. What should I do now, Mr. Krabs? Run to her, boy. She's waiting for you. I can't feel my legs, Mr. Krabs. Don't worry, boy, I'll fix it. Get this to the Krusty Krab on the double. Good luck, lad. Dreams do come true. Wahoo! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pretty Patties is now under new management. Who's next? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for me money. Welcome to Pretty Patties. May I take your money? We want a refund, Krabs. Who? Wh what? Your dumb Pretty Patties turned my face purple. Look what I got under me kilt. And, and just, just look, look at, at our tongues. tongues. What's wrong with you? We want our money back. All 46,853 of us. Hey, where'd he go? <laughs> my key. Where's my key? SpongeBob, let me in. Let me in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Krusty Krab. My name is Squidward. May I take your order? Hmm... Uh, oh, I'll have a... No, uh... Uh, maybe... No, uh... I'll have... Hmm... No... Or... Or maybe... Are you planning on ordering today, sir? I'll have a... Krabby Patty. How original. And with extra onions. Daring today, aren't we? One Krabby Patty, extra onions. One crying Johnny coming up. <clears throat> First bun, then patty, followed by ketchup, mustard, pickles, extra onions, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, and bun. In that order. One crying Johnny up. Whatever. Twelve Krabby Patties on wheat buns. One patty ketchup tomato bun. 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 One dozen crying cows on the farm. Up. Thanks, Farmer Brown. It's been a thrill serving you. Could I get some extra salt? We're all out. 
Could you check? No. Let me guess, Tiny. A small salad? I'll take a double-triple bossy deluxe on a raft, 4x4 four four animal style, extra shingles with a shimmy and squeeze, light axle grease, make it cry, burn it, and let it swim. We serve food here, sir. I got it already, Squidward. <gasps> Bubble bass. <laughs> Squidpants. I hear talk you make a mean Krabby Patty. Yup, and I hear talk you're kinda picky. <laughs> yeah. Well then, here you go. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Well, Bubble Bass, what do you think? This is pretty good. Only one thing. You forgot the pickle! <gasps> no! The best there is? I don't think so. You lose. <laughs> But the, 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 the pickles should be right where they always are. I know I put them on. Oh, where are those pickles? Pickles, pickles, pickles? Ah! I believe you owe me two bucks. Two bucks? Your guarantee. Oh, that. Well, uh, can't we talk about this? No. Uh, how about a discount on restroom tokens? Afraid not. Uh, how about a free glass of water? A dozen free glasses of water! I'll even put ice in it! Two dollars! Two dollars! No, no! Mr. Krabs, I know I put pickles on that Krabby Patty! That two bucks is coming out of your paycheck. Wait, wait! Wait! Get back to work, we've got orders waiting. Okay. I am not gonna blow it this time. Let's see. Bun down, then ketchup, then mustard, then... Pickles? No, that's not right! Bun down, mustard, then ketchup, lettuce, then the... Pickles? No! Uh, uh, bun down, bun stuff down it... Oh, where's the patty go? Pickles, ketchup, wait! Oh, think, think I'm losing it! <laughs> bun down, shoe, mustard, pan... But no! Mr. Krabs, I am so confused. I can't remember how to do anything. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Oh no, Mr. Krabs. Who will make the Krabby Patties? Oh, don't worry about that. We've got Squidward. Huh? <sighs> Mr. Krabs is right. I need to get my head straight. Now is it bun, patty, ketchup? <gasps> the door! The door! Mr. Krabs! The front door is missing! Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, Mr. Krabs. This pickle thing has got my head all messed up. <laughs> I better go home and rest my brain. Uh, which way do I live? <laughs> of course. Die! <laughs> No, no, it was bun, patty, bun. Ugh, let's see. Tomatoes, pickles, bun, no. Bun, no. Bun, no shoe. Ugh, I am so confused. <sighs> Maybe a good night's sleep will help me get my head on straight. Oh. Uh, was it mattress, mattress, sheets, pillow, then... Spongebob? Or... Ugh! Think Sponge! <gasps> oh yeah! It was Mattress, Spongebob, Mattress, then Sheets Pillow. Good night, Gary. Meow. 
Aw, oh, this isn't right. Good night, Gary. No. Wait, this isn't right either. Nope. Uh-uh. Negative. Ugh, oh, come on, come on, get it right. Wrong. 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 Nope. No. Nah. Negatory. Yet. Aw, oh, I almost had it. Alarm clock. Oh, how do I turn this thing off? Dig, 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 dig. Now? <gasps> Gary! Patties are done. Uh, hey. He burnt my Krabby Patty. He burnt my fries. He burnt my shake. <laughs> no, come back. No, no. Uh, I gotta get SpongeBob back. SpongeBob? SpongeBob? Mr. Krabs, hello. Do you how do? Why are you talking funny, lad? I anything can't do right since because pickles. Nonsense. You'll be back making Krabby Patties like your old self in no time. I don't think ready go back to work, Mr. Krabs. But you're fine, me boy! Oh. Uh, well, maybe not. All we need to do is get your confidence back, so you can make me more money! Uh, I mean, patties. <laughs> I how do that? It's like riding a bike. You never forget! Uh, I'm gonna help ya. If you learn to make a Krabby Patty again, your life will be back in order. Uh, Mr. Krabs, I don't know if I- Take your time. Uh, no, 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 no. I got it! I got it! It's all very clear to me now, Mr. Krabs. It is? Yes! I finally realized that I can't do it! I can't do it, Mr. Krabs! I'm a failure! Don't talk like that. Don't you get it, you crustaceous cheapskate? I can't make a double Krabby Patty with the works! I can't put a patty on a bun with lettuce, cheese, onions, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, pickles, and top bun together in that order! Huh? It's time. Hey, SpongeBob's back. SpongeBob. 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 No way. I hear SquarePants is back. I'm right here, Bubble Bass. I thought I ran you out of town. <laughs> this is where I belong. <sighs> <sighs> Rawr. <laughs> I'll have the regular. And this time, don't forget the pickles. 
I didn't. Still no pickles! You failed again, SpongeBob loser pants! <laughs> Wait a minute! Look! He's been hiding his pickles under his tongue the whole time! And there's the pickles from last time, too! And there's my car keys! And, uh, there's my ride! <laughs> Three cheers for our master fry cook, Spongebob! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! And three cheers for the fry cook who took my place when I was gone, Squidward! Hip hip! Boo! Hip hip! Boo! Hip hip! Boo! Hip hip! Boo! You stink! Every day is a holiday for Spongebob, even if he has to make one up. Hey everybody, it's Lee Ferrickson Day! Hing ba ding ba dergen. Ahoy Patrick, it's Lee Ferrickson Day! There's a note. SpongeBob, Spongebob. when, when to, to get, get more, more giant, giant paper? paper. Uh, Patrick. Patrick. P.S. Happy Lee Ferrickson Day! Ugh, so much for that. Maybe Sandy will play with me. Another note. SpongeBob! Went south for the winter. Love, Sandy. I don't get it. The water's fine. Hey Squidward, want to play? No. no. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Darn, I wish I had a buddy to play with. I know, I'll make one! Stick Buddy! <coughs> nah. Rock Buddy! Nope. Sink Buddy! Almost. I've got it! Bubble Buddy! This is great! I can't wait for you to meet Squidward and Mr. Krabs! Don't be shy, come on! Please come again. When I'm not working. Next! Hi, Squidward! How am I supposed to enjoy your day off if you come to work anyway? I want you to meet my new friend, Bubble Buddy! This bubble is your friend. <laughs> well, he's handsome, I'll give him that. Ah, <laughs> uh, what'll it be? Oh, I'm not hungry. Well, thanks for stopping by. Wait! You haven't taken Bubble Buddy's order yet! Why would I do that? He's hungry. He's an inanimate object. His money's no good here. What are you saying, Mr. Squidward? Everyone's money is good here. At the Krusty Krab, we serve all kinds. I'm not taking an order for a bubble. Sure you are, or I'll fill your life with misery and woe, even if you quit. <sighs> May I take your order? We, oui, Bubble Buddy. Let me decide for you. Hmm, 
Krabby Patty, Double Patty Patty, Krabby Junior Junior, Jumbo Small Patty, Junior Senior Sophomore Patty, Quarter Ounce or Double Pounder. Oh, it's all so good. He'll just have one of everything. One of everything would be I love Bubble Buddy. Squidward, show our best customer to his table. Bubble Buddy's thirsty. How about a glass of our finest shampoo? <laughs> Sounds great! Here's your hair care products, sir. Uh, Bubble Buddy likes bendy straws. Huh? What's that? Bubble Buddy says it tastes funny. What do you think? Mr. Krabs! Think of the customer! Oh, silly me, I got the diet shampoo. Here we go, one of everything for Bubble Buddy. Oh no, Squidward, wait! There's cheese on these patties! And? Bubble Buddy's lactose intolerant, he can't eat cheese! What should we do? We? How about you take these patties and sh- Mr. Squidward? Don't worry, Bubble Buddy. Squidward will make a fresh batch. Why, is he allergic to bread too? Actually, he doesn't like the crusts. And Squidward, the ketchup should be under the patty. And Squidward, the pickle should be on the left side. And Squidward, you should- And Squidward, and Squidward, and Squidward? Here! One of everything, no cheese, no crusts, pickles to the left, four squirts of ketchup, wheat buns, non-dairy lettuce, and farmed-raised tomatoes carnival style. And if there's anything else I can do, please hesitate to ask. That was delicious! Money's on the table, Mr. Krabs. So long, boys. <laughs> you see, Squidward, the restaurant game is all about service. The customer is always right. Remember that, lad, and you'll be as successful as me one day. Oh, you're right, Mr. Krabs. I learned my lesson. And by the way, Bubble Buddy picked up the tab. What's this? Bubble money! At least he left a tip. <laughs> here we are, Bubble Buddy. Goo Lagoon! There are lots of ways to have fun here. <laughs> Dude, bury me! <laughs> See what I mean? All done! All right! <laughs> Bubble Buddy, you dig him out while I get some cotton candy. <laughs> well, don't just stand there, dude. The tide's coming in! <laughs> dude? My friend's in there. Congratulations. Woohoo! Shake it! Shake it! Yeah! Shake that bubble butt! Yeah! Huh? huh? Ooh, uh. Do I look fat in this? It's the world famous surf punk, Grubby Grouper! Later, groupies! Grubby's gotta go catch some gnarly pounders. Uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll never wash this flipper again. Hey, Pearl, shake hands with Bubble Buddy. It's his first time on his own. Once again, congratulations. Uh, 
Two hours is long enough. That's it. Huh? Hey, Bubble Buddy, you're finished. He kept us waiting for a bubble. That's nothing. He called us fat. <laughs> he washed my flipper. He owes me money. He made me provide excellent service. Dudes, he made me experience high tide. <laughs> he poisoned our water supply, burned our crops, and delivered a plague onto our houses. He, he did. did? No, but are we going to wait around until he does? I see. We tip something over! Hey, hey, hey! Now what? Get the lifeguard! Wait! Don't waste this senseless violence on him. It's that stupid bubble of Spongebobs that's causing all these problems. Who's with me? Pop the bubble! Hey everyone, have you all met my friend Bubble Buddy? Yes. Hey, <laughs> is this one of those sewing circles? <laughs> no. Would you mind not getting so close with those pins? Pointy objects make Bubble Buddy feel uncomfortable. SpongeBob, that bubble's got to go. Oh no, he already took care of that, but thanks for your concern. No. Go, as in... Huh? Why? You and that bubble have been nothing but trouble. It's time to end it. No, I won't let you. Enough seahorsing around, SpongeBob. Give us that bubble. No, you can't. He's not just a bubble. He's a bubble buddy. He's my friend, and I love him. <laughs> Haven't you ever had a very special friend? <laughs> Nickel Buddy, I'll never spend you. Funny Muffler. Jerky Pal. Boo Boo Keys. Snake Eyes. We, we love, love you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say? Pop the bubble. Pop the bubble! Pop the bubble! Let's get this over with so I can go home and play my clarinet! Ha! No! Whoa! Hey! Don't I get a say in this? I'll see you later, SpongeBob. Things are getting a little weird around here. So long. <laughs> Happy Leaf Erickson Day! He's alive? Of course. Otherwise, he couldn't tell such funny jokes. Seems like only yesterday I held his bottle. <laughs> they blow up so fast. Ah! Uh, hi. Finished at last. What do you boys think of me, Masterpiece? New business hours, 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. What? That's totally unfair! Squidward's right. That's totally unfair. Couldn't we get to work earlier than 6 a.m.? Like 5.30 a.m.? Or 5 a.m.? Or 4 a.m.? Or... Zip it. What the... The Chum Bucket opened 23 hours? So, 
That little piece of flotsam plankton thinks he can stay open longer than me. Does he? Um, I don't know. Well, he's wrong! Uh, okay, sure. As of now, the Krusty Krab is open 24 hours! Did you hear that, Squidward? We get to keep working and working and working without ever having to go home. I've got to pinch myself because I must be dreaming. <coughs> Ow! 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 Well, I'm not dreaming. Open 24 hours, eh? I knew he couldn't resist staying open later than me. <laughs> My evil plan is working perfectly. He'll run his employees into the ground, and when SpongeBob's mind finally cracks from exhaustion, I'll get him to tell me the secret Krabby Patty formula. <laughs> Why aren't you laughing? I've heard this joke before. All right, everybody, the Krusty Krab is entering day three of nonstop service. Let's give it up for day three! Yeehaw! Day three! Krabby Patty, I don't care if we have to stay open until the day after the end of time. As long as I'm with you, I am complete. Day ten of non-stop service! Mr. Krabs, can I go home yet? No one goes home! Look at these bags under my eyes! Even my bags have bags! Quit your belly aching, Squidward. You don't hear SpongeBob complaining, do you? K R A B B Y P A T T Y says I. You could learn a few things from that boy, Mr. Krabs. He is not normal. Mm -hmm. Alright, you can sit down for five minutes. Then it's back to work! Ugh, drats! He's not collapsing from exhaustion! But with a little more pressure, the sponge will crack like an egg! And I'll be there to feast on the goo of his shattered psyche! <laughs> Ew, a spider bug! Ugh, come on. Krusty Krab, the restaurant that never closes. Would you like to place an order? 10,000 10, Krabby Patties? We'll start your order right away, Mr. Uh, what was that name again? Peter Langton. Wait a minute. This isn't some kind of prank, is it? Uh, no. Good. We'll call you when it's ready, Mr. Langton. Kick it into high gear! We've got a big order! I'm counting on you, boy. I need you to raise that spatula. Yeah! And I need you to say, Team Krusty Krab! Team Krusty Krab! That's me, boy. Now make me 10,000 Krabby Patties. <laughs> and no breaks. Mmm! <laughs> Did you hear that, Spatula? You, me, and 10,000 Krabby Patties. And the best part, no breaks. Woohoo! Day 15. Give it up for Day 15. K R A B B Y P A T T Y. <laughs> 1322. Day 23. Give it up for Day 23. 6654. Day 30. 7121. Day 35. 8659. Hey, what's going on here? Whoa, whoa! Day, uh, 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 and you wouldn't know how many days it's been. I've lost track. Uh, uh, 43! <sighs> what the flim flam? What are you doing in here, boy? You're wasting all me food! 
boy. Oh, hey, Mr. Krabs. When did you get in here? Boy, I'm worried that- <laughs> Got it! I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. Could you run that by me again? Sure. I'm worried that- <laughs> That's what I thought you said. Now, let me offer this as a rebuttal. Ah! <laughs> Stay back! I'm warning you! Alright, now you're just being silly. I want you to- <laughs> No! Don't eat me! I'm too chewy! <laughs> Holy shrimp! They're everywhere! Why? 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 I told you that shirt was hideous. I no, I want to live. I want to live. Mr. Krabs, what's going on? Everywhere I look, I see killer Krabby Patties. There, there. I'm sure it's nothing that getting back to work won't solve. Here's your spatula. Spatula. And here's the grill. Grill. And here are some fresh crabby. <coughs> hmm, there may be a problem after all. What does this mean? It means there's something wrong with your head. Look, I think maybe you should see a professional. Wrestler? No, a psychiatrist. Oh. But where am I going to find a psychiatrist? Hey, look at this! Dr. Peter Langton, psychiatrist specializing in Krabby Patty phobias? Gosh, I don't know about this, Krabs. Wouldn't I have to miss work if I went to see- <laughs> Hmm, well this looks like the place. Uh, hello? Doctor? Come in, Mr. Squarepants. Please have a seat on the couch. Now, let's unload all that harmful information in your little yellow head. You're a bit smaller than I imagined, Doctor. But I guess that's why they call you Shrink. <laughs> Do you think there's hope for me, Doctor? Hope? Hope? When I get my hands on that formula, there won't be any hope for any of you! <laughs> yeah, I mean, you'll be cured in no time. Oh, good. Let's start with a simple exercise. Jumping jacks? I want you to close your eyes. Now, tell me what you see. I see giant Krabby Patties. Good! And what are they made of? Hatred! No, I mean the ingredients. What are the stinking ingredients? They're coming for me. No, no, no! Stay back! Wait, where'd you get that piano? <laughs> We're trying something else. I'm going to say a word, and you say the first word that pops into your head. Ready? I'm ready! Work. Work. Spatula. Spatula. Bun. Bun. See, the key is to say something different than what I say. Oh, okay, I've got it. Potato. Potato. Tomato. Tomato. I've laid out some words on cards here. These words are common kitchen ingredients. I want you to arrange them in any order you choose. It could be a poem, or a secret formula, I don't know. Oh, yes! A secret formula! Good, let's do that. Um, you're making me nervous. Oh, okay. I'll be over here then. I'm finished! I've arranged them into a piano. <laughs> 
Since your mind has been resistant to every mental technique so far, I'm forced to resort to my most powerful method of curing you. Fiber? No. Hypnosis. Hypnosis? Now, keep your eyes on this watch. When I count to three, you will fall into a deep sleep. A one, a two, a three. I can't believe it worked. Now, when I snap my fingers, you will awake and tell me the formula. Hey, wake up! Hmm, what else is loud and obnoxious? Why won't you wake up? Hey, uh, Spongebob, I heard your brain was sick, so I brought you this cookie pizza. Gee, thanks. And here's some chocolate milk. The king of flavored dairy drinks. Oh, Krabby Patty, I'm so glad we're friends again. Just remember, Spongebob, I'll always be with you. Right here. In my heart? Actually, in your arteries. Now do me a favor and wake up. Wake up! Wake up! <sighs> it worked! I'm cured! But what about the formula? Oh, you're right. I'd better get back to work. Thanks for everything, Doc. No, it's a lie! Therapy doesn't really work. You're still sick! Very, very sick! Good to see your brain's all fixed, boy. Yeah, I just needed some sleep is all. Well, I can safely say, no more 24-hour shifts. Because 23 will be plenty. Oh, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> 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 no, seriously. Get back to work! Hey, Squidward. Hey, Squidward. Hey, Squidward. Hey, Squidward. Hey, Squidward. All right, I'll bite. What is it, SpongeBob? Do you know what today is? Annoy Squidward Day. Die. <laughs> no, silly. That's on the 15th. Today is the beginning of the judging for the employee of the month. SpongeBob, don't you know that award's a scam? What do you mean? Mr. Krabs gives you that award so you'll work harder for no extra money. That is not true, Squidward. He gives it to me because I work harder. You could win it too if you tried harder. Oh, for what? To get my face on the wall of shame? Squidward, you've got it all wrong. Having pride in your work is nothing to be ashamed of. Why, it's the only thing that makes it all worthwhile! That a boy, Spongebob! This is gonna be a tough one, though. There's no clear-cut winner! Watch out, Spongebob. Squidward appears to be on the verge of a breakout. There might be a new face on the wall this month. Huh? That's right, Spongebob. I might sneak up on you. <laughs> no! <laughs> How could I let the quality of my work slip so much? <laughs> Huh? 
呃，我，呃，呃，呃 ，Need help, SpongeBob? <gasps> What are you doing? Uh, making Krabby Patties. You're losing it. Don't you know that uh, award is a uh, bunch uh, of <laughs> garbage? Oh, please don't tell Mr. Krabs about this. It'll hurt my chances of getting the award. I already told you that award is a bunch of baloney. That is not true, Squidward. Like this hat, that award is a symbol of. It's a symbol that you're a chump. <gasps> no, Squidward. And this is what I think of the Employee of the Month award. <laughs> Ah, no, no, no. An experienced employee of the month always keeps a brick of lead in his hat. I'm telling you, SpongeBob, for the last time, that award is nothing but a joke. <laughs> what if Squidward is right? What if the award is a phony? Does this mean that my whole body of work is meaningless? Stow that kind of talk, sailor. This is war now, Private. That's exactly what he wants you to think. There's no time to go lily-livered on us. But, sir, there's no room for butts in war, soldier. He wants you to crack. He's trying to trick you. Get inside your mind. You will stop at nothing, and I mean nothing, to defeat him. Have I made myself clear, Private? Crystal, sir. Good. Now move out. Hmm. I won't let Squidward win. He can't go to work if he doesn't wake up. Target sighted. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Oh no. Uh. Uh. Ah. Mm. <gasps> 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 SpongeBob, what are you doing here? You can't win that award if you don't get up for work. Huh? Oh. Huh? Stop it, SpongeBob. If I really wanted that award. I could win it with my tentacles tied. That could be arranged. You're a lunatic, SpongeBob. Maybe so, but I did win Employee of the Month twenty-six months in a row. Are you trying to say that you are better than me? I've been better than you for twenty-six months, and it'll be twenty-seven tomorrow. Oh, that's it, Square for Brains. That's it. I'm going to show you how easy it is to win that award. I'm going to be the new employee of the month. I will prove that I am far more competent than you. Well, I'm going in early to wax the floors. Don't bother. I'll have done them already by the time you get there. Well, you'll have to get up pretty early to get there before me. I don't need to sleep, loser. Well, me neither. Twenty-six time loser. Look at him, watching me. I'm watching you, SpongeBob. You're not leaving before me. Hey, Squidward, getting sleepy, huh? No. How about you? Nope.
<laughs> SpongeBob! Hey, Squidward. Going somewhere? I'm going to wring you dry when I get out of here. Now get me out of here. All right, Squidward. I'll stop by after work. SpongeBob! SpongeBob! Now to get some rest. Don't want to look tired for my employee of the month photo. <gasps> Squidward! That ought to hold him. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> huh? SpongeBob, why you little? <laughs> Ooh, a Krabby Patty. No, Squidward. So long, loser. <laughs> 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 Die! Ha <laughs> SpongeBob Truce Truce SpongeBob, I can't take it anymore. If we keep this up, neither one of us will win the award. You're right. We should save our energy for work, where we really need it. Okay, let's have a good, clean fight. And may the better man win. He's, He's nothing, nothing but a but lying, lying boneless, boneless ink-squirting, ink big-nosed big phony. phony. Look at look that, that, that buck-tooth, buck, corn-fed corn smile. smile. You can't, you can't trust, trust him as far as you can throw him. As soon as, soon as he, he stops shaking, shaking my, my hand, hand, I'm gonna, gonna make, make a, a run, run for, for it. it. Oh, well, um, uh... uh <laughs> 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 money, money, gonna make some money. Huh? <laughs> ah, warms me wallet to see me employees coming in so early. <laughs> Boys, you're early. Huh? <laughs> wait, wait! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mr. Krabs! Clean floors! <laughs> clean tables, Mr. Krabs! Clean dishes, Mr. Krabs! What's going on here? It's much more efficient to clean dishes this way, Mr. Krabs! No! Flowers and chocolates for you, Mr. Krabs! Look, I'm putting my own money in the register, Mr. Krabs! Two spatulas to increase productivity, Mr. Krabs. Uh, faster, SpongeBob, faster. There's nothing to this patty flipping, Mr. Krabs. I'll easily double your output, SpongeHog. Boys, boys, boys! Uh, 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 help! 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 Uh. Hey, free Krabby Patties! Ooh. Hey, look at that! Oh, Krabby Patties! Krabby Patties! Oh. Krabby Patties. Ooh, nice. Wait, wait! Krabby You've got to pay for those! No! So, who's the winner of Employee it's me. of the Month? It's me! Wait, it's me. boys! Sure. Boys, the Krabby Patties! Boys, Krabby. wait! <laughs> You know, SpongeBob, sometimes it's nice to hang up my hang glider and just watch the clouds roll by. Yep, and just relax. Yeah, relax. Ooh, ooh, do you know what that cloud looks like? What? A flower. They all look like flowers, SpongeBob. All the time, 
They sure do. You know, normally I'd offer to race you to the top of Coral Cliffs, but I don't want to miss out on a second of this beautiful beauty. Me either. Who wants to get all dirty anyway? Yeah, and sweaty. Besides, I think we'd all know who'd get to the top first. Yeah. Die! <laughs> Me. That's funny, Sandy. It sounded like you said you could beat me at a climbing contest. Course I can. I'm a squirrel. See? I thought that meant you were nuts. Nope. That means I'm a natural-born climber. I'm from the surface world, and nothing prepares you for climbing than growing up on good old dry land. Lanch, man. It's all about finger strength, baby. And if there's anything we've got plenty of down here, it's finger strength. What do you say to that, Miss Mittens? I'd say I'm already halfway there. Huh? Ugh. Hey, no fair, Sandy. You got a head start. Sorry, SpongeBob. That's the way the coral crumbles. Hey! Ugh. You did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, but this is an accident. Too bad you forgot your umbrella. I didn't. Uh. <laughs> huh? Well, it's about time you showed up. I want a rematch. Hmm. First one to the Krusty Krab is the winner. Ain't no way a sea critter can run faster than a land critter. I can underwater. I'm... Hydrodynamically, Hydrodynamically designed. designed. Think you can win a fair race in that clunky tin tube? Why don't you ask my behind? That is, if you can catch it. What do you say to that, Hydro Pants? I'd say I'm already halfway there. Huh? Hey! Die! <laughs> Thanks for the facelift! <laughs> you see? I told you you didn't have a chance. There gym. you are. Ain't that just like a land creature? To keep a sea creature, you waiting. Die! I thought y'all wanted a rematch. I did. And I took a head start just like you did. Well, I was just funnin' with you that time, but I guess y'all underwater don't have to play fair. I guess I don't. Air breather, water sucker, tree climber, golf streamer, kite flyer, chum chewer. <gasps> Take that back, you not wet person. Aha! You can't even come up with another name. That proves it. Proves what? That land critters are better than sea critters. Better at what? Oh, darn near everything, I guess. Cattle roping and pie eating and wood shopping and flying. What's she blabbering about? She says land creatures are best. Only because it's true. We're best at horse riding and fur styling and rowing. Y'all got us licked and swimming. But we've got corn chucking and hay baling and barn raising and fishing. <gasps> and name calling for sure. And drowning. Don't forget drowning. <laughs> Good one, Squidward. Who? Not on your life, sport. I'll admit, you've got some pretty good moves. For a squirrel. <laughs> but you're still just a land creature. Squirrels can do anything they want to. I bet they can't eat a Krabby Double Deluxe in one bite. <sighs> Give me that. They don't call me Cheeks for nothing. <laughs> die, <laughs> die. Thank you, thank you. Well, that's just one thing. Can you do this? Everyone in my family can do that. Uh, huh? How about this, huh? 
can you reproduce by budding? Can ya? Can ya? Can ya? Can ya? No. Most importantly, can you do this? <gasps> Well, what would I want to do any of that dumb stuff for anyway? Admit it, Sandy. You can't do anything us sea creatures can do. In fact, if it wasn't for that suit, you couldn't even live down here. <laughs> well, you know... <laughs> I don't need to... <laughs> I'll show y'all. I don't need this suit. <laughs> And I don't need this helmet, neither! Neptune Preserver! How long can she stay like that? I don't know. Sandy's a girl? Wow, Sandy. You sure proved us wrong. I guess land creatures are better. At least until they need to breathe. Yep, won't be long now. Hmm? Feeling lightheaded yet? Mm -mm. Remember this. <sighs> it's free. <sighs> Stop laughing at me. I knew it! There was no way some airhead was gonna win anything against a water breather! <laughs> airhead. Sea, sea creatures rule! Water! Water! Alright, alright! You've had your little laugh, but now it's my turn. Y'all think you're such hot stuff, don't ya? Swimming around with your fancy gills and such. But none of you wetheads could last a minute on my turf. Dry land. Do we have to wear pickle jars? <laughs> nope. Nothing but the clothes on your backs. One minute, no problem. Landy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here. <gasps> Well, so are you going or not? Uh, actually, you know, but, uh... We can't, uh, because... Well, um, we're late for our... Our fitting. Oh, you mean for your chicken costumes? Hey, we are not chicken. <gasps> My popcorn. <laughs> Look. Unless you can stay above water for one measly minute, you forfeit the contest. And prove that land creatures are better than sea creatures. No way, Sanday. We'll take on your challenge! Yeah! We're not afraid of your dumb old land! Yeah! We're sea creatures! Yeah! Okay, well... This is it. Wait, boy. Make it last. Thanks, Mr. Krabs. Okay. Here I go. <gasps> hey, this isn't so bad. We can do this! Hey, Patrick, come on up! The air is fine! I'm gonna do it and get it over with. Cannonball! Hey, I just lost my trunks. Hi, SpongeBob! Alright, Pat, you made it! Come on, Mr. Krabs, up here! All ashore that's going to shore, Mr. Squidward. Land! Ho! Looking good, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, woohoo! Come on, Squidward, you're missing all the dry. Come on, Squidward! 
Squidward! Squidward! Squidward! Well, I'll do it, but I won't like it. Squidward! Squidward! Squid! What? Well, here we are. This is pretty easy. I may keep a second rock up here. Once you get your land legs, it's not so bad. We're the masters of land and sea! Hey, it's a local. Hi, we're from underwater. Do you know Sandy Cheeks? Three, two, one. Well, tan ma fur, they made it. Better congratulate them. SpongeBob, Patrick. Huh. Where'd those critters get to? <laughs> Holy guacamole! You can't eat my friends, you rats with wings! Uh, thanks for saving us, Sandy. You know, everyone's best at something. But no one's best at everything. Sorry I made you take off your helmet, Sandy. Sorry I made you go up on dry land, SpongeBob. Three cheers for feeling sorry for ourselves! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Have I told you how beautiful you are? Your tentacles, your nose, your eyes! A uh, little lopsided. There! And now that I've been immortalized in wax, I have conquered all artistic media. Come on, my precious reflection, smile! Hike, Patrick, hike! You just lost three points! One, two, five! <gasps> G7! G7? King me! King me! I lose! But it's not Tuesday, Patrick. Tartar sauce! Hey! What are you invertebrates doing? We don't, we don't know. know. Hey, Patrick. Do you know what time it is? Uh, yes, Squidward. It's... <laughs> time to find some other game to play. <laughs> now what? We could toss that shell back and forth. Okay. Ready? Go! I got it, I got it! Huh. Hmm. Remember, Patrick, finders keepers. There it is! I, I got, got it! it. I, I got, got it! it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Bonus points! Uh, Patrick? I think something's wrong with Squidward. He looks unconscious. Don't worry, I know how to do this. Get off him, Patrick! What are you worried about? He looks better already. But he still feels cold. Well, let's go put him in the warm. Do you think he'll be okay? You know you worry too much. The Patrick is here. In SpongeBob, I know a lot about head injuries, believe. 
Me. Hey, what's that on your shoe? I don't know. It kind of looks like... Squidward! <laughs> no, no, that part goes here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's We're it. Almost uh -huh. there. We can do it's, this. Working. it's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Patrick, this isn't working. Look! I don't know how to say it. But our old pal Squidward, he's... he's pushing up daisies! Oh, I thought he was dead. Huh? <laughs> well, are you two going to say something, or do I... No, stay back! What is the matter with you two? D don't hurt us. It was an accident. What are you two talking about? Ah, look what you've done to me. No, when I get my hands on you, <laughs> I'll please, Mr. Squidward's ghost, spare us your ghostly anger. Oh, oh, yes, Mr. Squidward's ghost, please don't haunt us. We'll do anything you want, just have mercy on us. Enough! Listen up. Squidward's ghost is feeling unusually generous today. He hath decided to spare ye a horrible fate. <laughs> All ye must do is tend to my every whim and tickle my fancy on demand. Does that include- QUIET! Now, do as you're told, lest ye incur the wrath of Squidward. I think they make a cream for that now. <laughs> Here? Too hot. <laughs> Here? Too wet. Keep going. Keep going. Too... tired. Perfect. Hmm. I feel... needy. Slaves? Fetcheth me some nourishment. Only the freshest, oh spooky one. A grape, fresh from the vine, your ghostliness. A banana peeled to your likeness, your incorporealness. One watermelon, fresh from the manure field, your spookiness. Art thou not pleased? <coughs> Enough of that! <coughs> I want something else to eat now. Something that's very difficult to find. What do you hunger for, Master? Whatever it is you want, we'll find it. We'll find it! Cherry pie. <coughs> Where'd you get that? I found it. Well, go find it again! Spongebob, get over here. Now, spin around. That's better. Now, jog in place. Now, say, flank stink. Flank stink. I think I'm beginning to like this. Stop. Now, play me an elaborate song with this. But... This is just a piece of tissue paper. Oh my. Always having to have a our way, don't we? Oh, boo hoo. <laughs> I can't do it! Well, I hope you don't have any plans tonight because you're not allowed to leave that spot until I hear a song. <laughs> Wow.
What's this? Napping on the job? You're supposed to be making music for me! As punishment for this insolence, Squidward's ghost commandeth you to clean out his back room. I found it! I'll take that! Yes, your ghostliness! <laughs> this is fun. Patrick, are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, let's go. Patrick, are you coming? Yes. Patrick, it's this way. Where? Here. Oh, coming! How are we going to clean up all this mess? Easy! Just tear this wallpaper off! <laughs> oh, look! You missed some. Oh, let's see. It's a comic book. And look at this. It's the origin on the Flying Dutchman. It says when he died, they used his body as a window display. Now he haunts the seven seas because he was never put to rest. Well, don't you get it, Patrick? We're gonna go shopping? No, we're gonna put poor old Squidward to rest. Now, uh, what the heck was that? Die! Uh, initiation! That was part one of your ceremony. Ceremony for what? We're going to put you to rest. I don't want to be put to rest. All I want are those chores done. Now, did you clean the back room yet? Yeah. Oh, really? I'm gonna go check. Huh? Okay, get in. Are you crazy? I'm not getting in that thing. But you said we could put you to rest. I didn't say anything like that. Now get out of my house. Okay. Ugh, now what? I wrote, Here lies Squidward. You may not remember him, but- ah! Oh, hi Squidward. Does this look deep enough? SpongeBob, cut that out! Oh look, the mourners have arrived. Oh, Squidward. We all came as soon as we were sure you were dead. SpongeBob, are you trying to put me in the nut house? No, just into this hole. Ah, uh, SpongeBob. I have a confession to make. <sighs> You're bald! No, I'm not bald! I'm alive! Now get rid of that tombstone and tell your friends to go home! But- Do it! Go home. But, I- Master? I'm not your master. I'm your neighbor. Now do me a favor and stop doing me favors! As you wish, master. Boy, he really had us fooled. No, Patrick. He's the fool. He's a ghost in denial. He needs us now more than ever! You're right. He really needs to get up to the great beyond. Patrick, say that again. That again. Know the other thing. Know the other thing. Know what you said before when Know you- what you said before when you- Never mind. I've got an idea. Never mind. I've got an idea. I can't reach him. Blow harder. <gasps> there he goes. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? How high is he going to go? All the way, Patrick. Up to the great beyond. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. Happy trails. Huh? 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 Ah! You're, You're welcome. welcome! He's 
He's on the other side now. Yeah. He's in a better place. <laughs> Exercise time is over, Gary. We don't want you getting too thin. Here, boy! Fetch! Huh. Huh? Good job, Gary! I love you, Gary. Oh, Gary, 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 Gary! <laughs> Down, boy! <laughs> SpongeBob! Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? For what? The annual jellyfish convention in Ukulele Bottom this weekend! Hoo-wa! Hee-ya! Hee-ya! Ooh. Uh, so you're ready or what? That was this weekend? I can't go. I don't have anyone to take care of Gary. Would you please stop leaving your undergarments on my front lawn? Squidward, could you watch Gary this weekend? What's a Gary? Not a Gary. Gary, he's my pet snail. Say hello! Ah, uh, you actually care for that thing? I love Gary! Well, I don't. Get somebody else. I guess we can't go away this weekend after all, Patrick. Go away? You mean, if I watch Gary, you guys will be gone all weekend? Actually, a three-day weekend. As in, not here for three days? Yeah, but you've already said you can't do it. We understand. Don't feel bad, Squidward. The three of us can still have our own jellyfish convention at your house. I changed my mind. You guys deserve a weekend away. You'll do it? Great! Let me show you a little bit about snail care. You need to take Gary for a walk. Friday, After night, Friday Saturday, Saturday, and Sunday, a three-day weekend. Let me show you how to feed him. The cans are all marked. A can in the morning, and a can at night. Sure it's enough. Jellyfish, 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 jellyfish. The bus is here! The bus is here! Come on, SpongeBob! Jellyfishing, 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 jellyfishing! Well, time to go. Don't want to be late. Have fun. Bye bye. Now you won't forget my instructions, will you? I have the memory of an elephant. I'll take good care of Fred. Gary. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Jellyfishing, 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 jellyfishing. So long, losers. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> This is going to be the best three days of my life. I'm going to do all the things I can't normally do because of SpongeBob. Well, thus ends the greatest weekend of my life. No SpongeBob, no Patrick, nothing but me, me, me. The snail! I forgot the snail! Uh. <laughs> no! I've got to do something! Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Right there. 
eat, 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 eat. You've got to finish this food. See you later, Patrick. Come on, eat, eat, eat. Oh. Gary, I'm home. Oh, uh, hi, SpongeBob. Squidward, what are you doing here? Uh, just uh, checking up on old Gary for you. <laughs> what a great friend you are, Squidward. Um, so, uh, well, well, uh, um, uh, uh, so, uh, well, see you, goodbye. Thanks, Squidward. I can always count on you. <laughs> Ah, Gary! Gary, what's happened to you? What's wrong? Squidward, something's wrong with Gary! Squidward! Um, oh. Yes, 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 this is just as I thought. What? This is definitely a snail. <gasps> I knew it! Oh, Squid, did you hear that? <laughs> Therefore, a shot of snail plasma must be carefully administered. Here you go. Aren't you going to do it? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm too squeamish. Uh, hey, Doc, let me help you with your bag there. Squid, wait! I can't give Gary his plasma. I'm squeamish too. Ah, oh, SpongeBob, I don't want to do. <coughs> <laughs> Gary! Okay, okay, I'll do it. Now don't hurt him, Squidward. Okay? Okay, steady. Wait, that's too hard! Okay, uh, try it again. Wait! 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 Will you hold him still? Wait! 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 wait. WILL YOU HOLD HIM STILL?! Ouch! Uh... Squidward? You just injected me with snail plasma. Ugh, well... You made me do it! What's going to happen to me? Oh, nothing. It's just a little snail plasma. I don't know. I feel kind of funny. I'm telling you, SpongeBob, it's all in your head. <coughs> <laughs> Meow. He just needed water. Oh, Gary, you're better. Oh, how touching. I'm gonna go home and throw up. Good night. Squidward, wait. Uh, the, the, the snail plasma. Trust me, SpongeBob. Nothing's going to happen to you. You're fine. Meow. Don't worry, Gary. Squidward says I'll be fine. He knows everything. So, you hungry? <laughs> Meow. <laughs> hmm. 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 Here you go! Eat up, Gary! Meow? Sorry, Gary, I couldn't control myself. <coughs> Meow. Why did I just do that? Am I cracking up? Meow? No, no, Squidward's right. I'm fine. <laughs> I worry too much. It's all in my head. I feel tip-top. <laughs> Gary! You're getting a lot faster. Look at, Look me. at me. Never, Never better. better. <laughs> I'm okay. Squidward said I'm fine. <laughs> Gary? I'm fine. That's okay. I'm a lefty anyway. <laughs> now I don't have to buy those new shoes. 
I take it back, Gary. Something is wrong with me! I hope I never see another snail again. Good night, Clary. Who could that be? As if I didn't already know. SpongeBob, I already told you. You're gonna be just <laughs> Meow. <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> SpongeBob? Oh, Neptune, what have I done? It's all your fault! Okay, okay, okay. Get it together, Squidward. Meow, meow. <laughs> Meow. Huh? Meow. Meow. Uh. Meow. <laughs> meow. Meow. <laughs> None of this would be happening if I only fed that snail. Huh? Meow. <laughs> meow. 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 Meow, 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 meow. Halloween is no different under the waves. Pirates, skeletons, and sea monsters. Oh, sorry. Everyone having fun. Well, almost everyone. Huh? Who's there? <laughs> okay, Mr. Krabs, the dishes are done. I'm leaving. Hold on! Don't you want to hear me and you will scary story? No, thank you, Mr. Krabs. Uh... Does it have monsters in it? I, The worst monster of them all. Uh... No. Is it a true story? True as the deep blue. Okay, maybe just a little. Have a seat, me boy. Every year on Halloween night, the Flying Dutchman descends on Bikini Bottom, in a pirate ship, just like this, only bigger. Excuse me, did his ship look like a Krabby Patty? Like I was saying, the Flying Dutchman swoops down and starts stealing people's souls. Do souls look like pickles? Aye, as a matter of fact they do. And he puts them where you can never get them. In his soul bag. <laughs> I've come for your pickle. Ah! Ah! Ah, scaredy pants gets easier to scare every year. <laughs> uh, Squidward. 
Nothing like a good ghost story, eh, me boy? Hope you're not too scared to come to me party tonight. SpongeBob Scaredy Pants. <laughs> Steal your soul. Trick or treat! It's okay, son. That's just SpongeBob Scaredy Pants. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Scaredy Pants. <laughs> The name Square Pants. It's Square Pants. I don't get it, Gary. Every Halloween, no matter how hard I try, everybody scares me. Meow. Well, I'm sick of it. <coughs> no more Scaredy Pants. <coughs> <coughs> SpongeBob! Gary, it's Patrick. Oh, I'm going to scare him. It's my turn. Roar! Hiya, SpongeBob! Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Why can't I be frightening for once? Where's my chance? Well, if you want to be scary, you're going to need a good costume. What do you think? Great! You're going as my trick-or-treat bag! No, no! I'm the ghost of the Flying Dutchman! Uh, something's missing, uh... I know! Step into these babies, Hans. Terrifying. I don't know, Patrick. Huh? SpongeBob, it's little kids. Little kids are easy to scare. Trick or treat. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> <laughs> Look. It's the haunted mattress. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, here's your candy. No, please, that was enough of a treat. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> I don't get it, Patrick. SpongeBob, look at my new paper ghost. Ooh, scary. That is it, Patrick. What's it? What's the difference between that ghost and me? Uh, no, 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 wait, don't tell me. Uh, uh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I can do this. I can do this. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay, tell me. I've got a square head, and a real ghost has a round one. All we have to do is make my head round and boo, I'm scary. Okay, are you ready? Remember, like this. Uh, are you sure you want to do this? Shave me down, make me round. All right, let's get to it. What do you think? Perfect! Now that's scary! Let's go scare somebody. Ooh, I'm the Flying Dutchman! Ooh, I don't know who I am! Rawr, rawr! I'm the Flying Dutchman! Ooh, I'm the Flying Dutchman's best friend! 
Hey, don't you kids want your candy? Oh, oh boy, that was something. Your costume really packed a punch. Do you think? Oh, no question. You scared the barnacles off that guy. Who should we scare next? There's a whole party just full of people down at the Krusty Krab. And the Flying Dutchman's gonna show up uninvited. <laughs> oh, here comes someone now. Rawr, rawr! Ooh, I'm the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the haunted mattress? I guess he's been demoted to a haunted sleeping bag. <laughs> oh, Dad, you're embarrassing me again. <laughs> Howdy, Squidward! Uh, I mean, Flying Dutchman. Great party, huh? What are you supposed to be? Why, I'm a pet goldfish in a bowl! I don't get it. Are you ready, SpongeBob? Okay, Patrick, kill the lights! <laughs> <laughs> Flying Dutchman! <laughs> Give me your souls! That's no Dutchman, that's SpongeBob! SpongeBob? SpongeBob. Uh, help! Help! Uh, I, I am, am not, not SpongeBob. SpongeBob! Those, Those are, are my, my street, street clothes! clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the real Flying Dutchman! Oh. You bet your white lily livers I'm the Flying Dutchman! And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret! I'm going to steal your soul! You had it coming, ye little crybabies! Every year, people dressing up like me! Um... Turning the Flying Dutchman name into a laughing stock! But that's not the reason I'm taking your souls! No. This is the straw that broke the camel's back! Out of all the Flying Dutchman costumes I've seen, yours is the most insulting. Do you mean I'm not scary? You! Scary! <laughs> Let me tell you about scary, kid. There's all kinds of scary things in this world. Spiders are scary. I'm scary. You? You're not scary. Okay, let's get this over with. <laughs> SpongeBob? First, I gotta get rid of this stupid costume! <laughs> hey! 
Hey, what do you know? I scared him. <laughs> It worked, Patrick! I scared everybody! Yeah, I guess it was your pink hat! Pink hat? Oh, that's not a hat, that's my brain! Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, it grows back! Well, well. What is this? Ah, the artist at sea. Let us watch and see the fruits of his struggle. <gasps> ah, it seems the inspiration has struck. <laughs> My pencil! <laughs> the artist has learned the first lesson of the sea. Always bring a spare pencil. No, 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 no. Ah! Okay, ready, Patrick? One, two, three. Scissors beats paper, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. <sighs> Patrick, why do you always do paper? What is that thing, Spongebob? It looks like a giant pencil, Patrick. Go touch it. It is a giant pencil, Patrick. <laughs> Let's see if we can draw some giant pictures with it. What you drawing? Stand back, Patrick. I can't draw with you breathing down my neck. Artists. <laughs> it's a jellyfish. Hey, it's pretty good, SpongeBob. But it's lacking in basic construction. In your perspective, leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> Everybody's a critic. SpongeBob, your drawing's coming to life! <laughs> now that's more like it, Mr. Critic. No! I mean, it's swimming away! Do you know what this means, Patrick? Your art can never hang in a museum. It means we found a magic pencil! Now all I need is a magic mustache! And all my dreams will have come true. <laughs> Coming right up! Life is good! Easy come, easy go. Squidward, if you had some hair, you'd be the most gorgeous creature in the sea. You've got looks, talent, all you need is a full head of hair! My turn! Be careful, Patrick. Being an artist is a heavy responsibility. Each work of art is like a child and must be treated as such. Oh, come on. I was just going to draw a cartoon. Okay, why didn't you say so? Hey, another jellyfish. <laughs> it's Squidward, silly. <laughs> It's kind of creepy looking when it moves. Yeah, you're right, SpongeBob. We can't let it go into town. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Squidward. 
My brain just hatched an idea. <laughs> this is gonna be classic. I think I fancy a stroll around the park. <laughs> oh, Squidward. What do you want? Oh, hello, what's this? Someone left me money for a perm. Come to Harry. <coughs> Ouch! <laughs> uh, oh, my hair! SpongeBob! <laughs> Wait, I've got another idea. <laughs> This'll be the ultimate prank. I'll draw me, and when Squidward answers the door, <laughs> it won't be me. Aw, oh, look at him. Ain't he a doll? All he needs is a tie. Ready for action! He's going to the door. <laughs> He's knocking on the door. Squidward's answering the door and... Ouch! Ow! 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 He's beating up Squidward! <laughs> Doodle Boy, stop! He's got the pencil. What have I done? We've got to find him. Where could he possibly be? Maybe he's in that poorly drawn pineapple. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm not going in there. Come on, Patrick. I'm right behind you. Baby steps. Almost there. <laughs> what just happened? Me, hi, me, hi, me, hi. Me moi, me moi, laddie on my moi. Come on, Patrick, give me a boost up. Can't we just stay down here where it's safe? No way. I've created this monster, and I've got to stop him. <laughs> See what I mean, Patrick? Where's Valik, ma'am? Okay, Patrick? Finland! Nyaaah! Nyaaah! Mi hoi mi noi noi! Mi hoi mi noi ma na! Nyoi hoi mi noi ya ya ya! Nyaaah! 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 Nyoi mi hoi mi noi ma na! There he is! He's hideous. He makes me sick just looking at him. Those big, bulgy eyes, that square body, those two buck teeth, and that stupid tie! Um... Oh, oh but it looks good on you, Spongebob! <laughs> <gasps> He's putting down the pencil! This is our chance. On the count of three, we'll jump out and surprise him! Oh boy, a surprise party! Is it his birthday? Moi me noi, moi me noi. Patrick, Patrick, do something. Happy birthday. Ah. Here's your present. You're welcome. Hold it right there, doodle. I brought you into this world, and now I'm gonna take you out. Any last words? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Be ba ba la ha la ba ba.
Hold still, Doodle. This is for your own good. Take that and that and that and this and that and this and that and this and that and that. I'm going to make you. I am SpongeBob, destroyer of evil. Take it easy. It's just a drawing. <laughs> well, that takes care of that, eh, Patrick? Done and done. Gee, Gary, you should have been there. It was so exciting. But you know, I kind of missed the little doodle. He was like a son to me. But I'm sure glad things are back to normal. Well, good night, my sweet prince. Meow. Good night, magic pencil. No. 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 Huh? Oh, hey, Magic Pencil. What are you doing up? Drawing yourself a glass of water? <laughs> Doodle Bob! <laughs> no hard feelings, right? <laughs> Be careful with that thing, Doodle! You, Doodle! Me, SpongeBob! Be careful with that thing! Who knows what'll happen? <laughs> Very funny, Doodle. Now it's my turn. <laughs> well, Doodle, looks like this is a draw. You've made your point. No matter. I was voted most artistic in high school. Oh. Ow! SpongeBob, you're gonna pay for that. Or maybe it was most clumsy. Huh? Paper. Page for Mr. Doodle. Huh? Hey, SpongeBob, what's with all the ruckus? Take a look for yourself, Patrick. <gasps> it's the evil doodle! No, 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 not evil. He was just a two-dimensional creature. Lost in our three-dimensional aquatic world. Longing for a purpose. So... He's a drawing? Exactly. See how happy he is? He still looks kind of creepy. Oh, great magic pencil. Your powers are too mighty for us ocean dwellers, so I will send you back to the magic kingdom from where you came. Are you ready, Patrick? Ready! We rejoin the artist in a creative slump. <laughs> What's this? 
of my pencil. <laughs> The second most important rule for the artist at sea, always bring a pencil sharpener. Ah! Well, it's the worst time of day again. Closing time. <laughs> We'll see you in the A.M., Mr. Krabs. Hold on there, SpongeBob. Take that pile of filth out with you. <gasps> Mr. Krabs, you shouldn't talk about Squidward like that. He means this filth, you loon. Hmm, taking out the trash, taking out the trash, you the oh. Hmm. Ooh, dumpster writing. The voice of the people. Up with bubbles, down with air. <laughs> nematodes are people too. <laughs> Those nematodes. Here's one someone didn't finish. Squidward smells. Good. <laughs> uh, oh, huh. What's this one? Crabs is a. Uh... Huh. Crabs is a. Uh... Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Well, sometimes, but not recently. Hi, garbage man. Hi, SpongeBob. Hi, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Do you know what this word means? Crabs. Hmm. Isn't that the red sweaty guy you work for? Nuh-uh, not that word. That word. Hmm. <gasps> oh, hey! I think I know what that means. That's one of those sentence enhancers. Sentence enhancers? You use them when you want to talk fancy. You just sprinkle it over anything you say, and whammo! You got yourself a spicy sentence sandwich. Oh, I get it. Let me try. <clears throat> Hello, Patrick. Lovely day we're having, isn't it? Why, yes it is, SpongeBob. This... Day is particularly lovely. How right you are, Patrick. Oh, you're right, Patrick. My lips are tingling from the spiciness of this conversation. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it tingles when I laugh. <laughs> Hello, customers. Nice day we're having, huh? <gasps> did he just say? I. He did. Hey, Patrick. How the are ya? Pretty good, SpongeBob. <clears throat> I thought this was a restaurant, not a gutter mouth convention. Attention, customers. Today's special is a Krabby Patty served in a greasy sauce and grilled to perfection. And don't forget to ask us to the fries. It'll be our pleasure. Hi, Squidward. How the are ya? Nice day, isn't it, Squidward? I don't understand. That guy's talented. He doesn't have to work blue. Let's go somewhere more family-oriented. I'm never eating here again. Those foul-mouthed bottom feeders. Huh? The Krusty Krab! She's empty! All hands on deck! Batten down the floors! 
Brace the cash register. Break out the happy snacks. Squidward, where have all me money-paying customers gone? Apparently, the two Barnacle Mouth brothers just learned a new word, and SpongeBob just said it over the intercom. Well, what was it? What did he say? Well, well um, er, he said, um, well, he said... Huh? <gasps> SpongeBob and Friend! Front and center! Why, I ought to make the two of you paint the Krusty Krab for using such language! But Mr. Krabs, we were only using our sentence enhancers. Yeah, it's fancy talk. There ain't nothing fancy about that word! You mean... Yes, that one! Now quit saying that! It's a bad word! Bad, bad word? word. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, siree. That's bad word number 11. In fact, there are 13 bad words you should never use. Don't you mean there are only seven? <laughs> Not if you're a sailor. <laughs> wow, 13! That's a lot of bad words. Okay, boys. I want you to promise me you'll never use that word again. We, we promise. promise. Gee, I'm glad Mr. Krabs told us that word we were using was a bad word. Yeah, me too. Because classy sophisticants like us shouldn't stain our lips with cursing. Now, let's play a nice, wholesome game of Eagles and Escalators. Oh boy, my favorite! Come on, Gary needs a new pair of shoes! Oh, Eels. Too bad, SpongeBob, you gotta ride the eel. Darn. My turn. Hooray! Escalators! <laughs> up, up, up! <sighs> Come on, SpongeBob. Escalators, escalators. <sighs> Eels again. My turn! Escalators! Escalators, escalators, escalators! Eels! Esky leaders Well, this is your last chance, SpongeBob. Or if you get eels again, you lose. Uh, escalators, escalators, escalators! Ha! <laughs> escalators! Eels. What? No. You said number eleven. Oh, but I don't. But I didn't mean. You gotta understand, Patrick. I was trying to. Well, what I meant to say was some things. Some things just slip out. You gotta understand. Don't worry, SpongeBob. I understand. <laughs> Mr. Krabs! Mr. Krabs! Mr. Krabs! <laughs> No, wait, Patrick! Patrick, please don't tell! But you said... <laughs> Aha! Now I'm gonna tell Mr. Krabs on you! <laughs> Not if I tell first! <laughs> I can run faster than you! <laughs> See ya at the Krusty Krab! <laughs> 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 Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs! What, what, what? Patrick, Patrick, Patrick! Yes, yes, yes? He said, he said, he said... Out with it, boy! Well, me and Patrick were playing eels and escalators, and Patrick was going up, 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 and I had to ride the eel, and then we ran, and Patrick... Well, he said some things. What kind of things? Well, he said... Yes? 
Well, uh, let's just say he said a certain word that you said we shouldn't say, and this particular word happens to be number 11 in 13 words that you said shouldn't be said. Uh, right. Now, what was the part with about the, uh, um, who now? Um? Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs! <sighs> He, he said, said that, that word, word that you said we shouldn't say. say. Now, wait just a minute, that's not entirely true. I was being good, I didn't have a choice, I needed to do it. I was being good, I didn't have a choice, I needed to do it. I was being good, I didn't have a choice, I needed to do it. Now I'm going to let go of your lips. And when I do, I want you to calmly tell me what you need to tell me. Understand? Mm-hmm. He said... Do my ears deceive me? You two should be ashamed. Time to take out the trash. You two need to be taught a lesson. I thought I made it clear. Never, and I mean never use number 11 or any of the 13 bad words. Now, the both of you wait right here. I'll be back. What's going to happen to us? We'll probably get 40 lashes. Oh no. I'm sorry, Patrick. Mr. Krabs was right. There's no need for words like that. I'm sorry too, SpongeBob. Let's make a vow, Patrick. From this day forth, a foul word shall never pass our lips. We'll be good citizens, just like old Mr. Krabs. Agreed. All right, you two foul mouths. As punishment for fouling the air in my restaurant with ye foul words, you're going to give the Krusty Krab a fresh coat of paint from top to bottom. Ooh. Oh, ow, ow, my foot, what genius would put a rock in a path? Can't you see I got a foot here? Um, five, six, seven? Oh, 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 a whole lot of, and with a side of, a heap and help and a, and a boatload of, That's all 13, Patrick. We're gonna tell your mom, Mr. Krabs. No, please, not me, mommy. Wait, please don't tell me, mother. I don't think her little old heart can take it. Mama, Mama Krabs, Krabs, Mama, Mama Krabs. Krabs. Why, hello there. You was couldn't one believe it! Mr. Krabs was the hardest language! I pulled out every bad word in the book! It was all the things they put in the top of his nose! It was all the words I have ever heard in my days! Oh dear! My poor old heart! Oh dear mother! What have these foul-mouthed heathens done to you? <laughs> you two should be ashamed, making an old lady faint with your cellar talk. You should all be ashamed. And if you're going to talk like sailors, then you're going to work like sailors. I guess you scallywags have earned a glass of lemonade. Ah, ga 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 Ah, ga 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 Oh, yow! My foot! <sighs> Mother! What? It's old man Jenkins in his jalopy. Howdy, Mrs. K! <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four.
four, three, two, one. I'm done with my shift, Mr. Krabs. And let me just say, there will come a day when I will make something of my life and I will never have to set foot in this grease trap again. Yeah, we'll see you after your lunch break, Squidward. Okay. So I just took my private yacht across my private lake to my private heliport. It's the only way off my private island. <gasps> oh, shrimp. It's my arch rival from high school. Squilliam, fancy son. I can't let him see me in my crusty crab uniform. Uh... On your lunch break, eh, Squiddy? Yes, I mean, no, I mean, uh... Hey, what you been up to? Oh, just succeeding in everything you failed in. You are no great shake, Squilliam, fancy son. Anyone can be a big shot in a hick town like Bikini Bottom. Oh, is that so? Let's hear what you've accomplished since high school, Squiddy. Don't, Don't be intimidated, intimidated Squidward. Squidward. Try, Try to, to imagine, imagine him, him in his, his underwear. underwear. Oh, no, oh no, he's high! I'm, uh, in... food service. Hold it! Don't tell me! You're a cashier! <laughs> Don't lie. Wine always makes it worse. I own a five-star restaurant. <laughs> Squidward, I had no idea you were such a success. That's right. And I would be honored if you would allow me to come to your restaurant tonight. Tonight? In fact, we'll all come. My treat! <laughs> Please, Mr. Krabs, you've got to help me. When they get here tonight, they're going to see that I'm just a big phony and a loser. Oh, boo-hoo. Here, let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. <laughs> this is serious. I know. This really is the world's smallest violin. See? Mr. Krabs, please let me run the restaurant for just one night. I really need to impress Squilliam. Sk 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 Squilliam? You mean the guy that made millions doing what you wish you could do? Don't rub it in. Why didn't you tell me? We'll take him to the cleaners. Alright, listen up, men. Squilliam Fancy Son will be here in 20 minutes. Therefore, we need to turn the Krusty Krab into a fancy restaurant as soon as possible. Patrick, what are you doing here? I thought the core would help me straighten out my life, sir! The core? What the- Pat, this isn't the- Ugh. Beggars can't be choosers. Can you take hats in a dignified and sophisticated manner? You mean like a weenie? Okay. May I take your hat, sir? May I take your hat, sir? May I- all right, I've heard enough. You've got the job. Mr. Krabs, didn't you once serve on the SS Gourmet? Aye, aye. Then you'll be our head chef. What can I do? I can't believe I'm saying this, but... SpongeBob, you're going to have to be the waiter. What's that? It's the guy who goes to tables and takes orders. Do other restaurants do that? Yes, they do that. Now listen, Squilliam is on his way, and you have less than 20 minutes to become a fancy waiter. So read this. 
how to become a fancy waiter in less than 20 minutes? Don't worry, Squidward! I'll memorize every page, right down to the punctuation marks! <coughs> Alright, I've got all the positions filled. I just might pull this off. Give me that! I said give it to me! Are you gonna hand it over or not? Don't you backsess me! Uh, he's just a hat checking guy. It's nothing essential. No! What happened? What is it? Peas! Made him the old fashioned way. <sighs> Mr. Krabs, you gotta take them out of the. <gasps> Holy fish paste! What is that? That's the appetizer! B -b 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 but I thought you said you were the head chef on the SS Gourmet! Did I say that? No, I cleaned the bathrooms on the Gourmet. I was the head chef on the SS Diarrhea. <laughs> there you are, SpongeBob. You gotta help me. Patrick and Mr. Krabs aren't working out, and Squilliam's almost here, and they're... SpongeBob? I can't do it. I can't do it, Squidward. What? Every sentence, every paragraph, spoons, bread, salad, pepper. Don't you understand? My brain is full to bursting. If I have to memorize a single order, I think I'm gonna explode! <laughs> SpongeBob, hold on. Let's take a second here to relax. Good. Now, I want you to empty your mind. Empty my mind? Empty your mind. Empty my mind. Empty your mind of everything that doesn't have to do with fine dining. Fine, fine dining, dining and, and breathing. breathing. Just got an order from the boss. Dump everything that isn't about fine dining. Everything? Everything. everything. Come on, come on, come on. Bring them, bring them, bring them. Jellies, jellies, jellies. Let's go, let's go. Keep doing it. Come on, let's get moving. Hurry up. What do you think I'm paying you for? You don't pay me. We don't even exist. We're just a clever visual metaphor used to personify the abstract concept of thought. One more crack like that and you're out of here. Uh, no, please, I have three kids. <laughs> How do you feel? SpongeBob? This isn't working! Uh, I gotta tell Squilliam I need more time! I'll just go to Squilliam's house and- <laughs> Squilliam, you're here! Hello, Squiddy. We're all ready to be dazzled by your five-star restaurant. Wait, Squilliam, I've got to explain! Explain what? That you, Squidward Tentacles, voted most likely to suck eggs in high school, or trying to pass off a lousy burger stand as a five <coughs> star restaurant. Hamana 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 Table for hamana. I can seat you immediately. How did you do all this? It was easy, once I cleared my mind. But what about Krabs and Patrick? Taken care of. <laughs> right this way, please. <laughs> Good evening, sir. From our menu tonight, might I recommend the Krabby Newberg? 
We take the finest cuts of aged, imported kelp, stuff them with herbs from our garden, wrap them in a parchment with our award-winning shallot tapende, slow roast them for six hours in our wood-fired clay-filled oven, or kiva, then serve them with a garnish of wilted coral on a mahogany plank. Mmm, this is fantastic! Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. Ouch! If you need anything else, just call. SpongeBob, I can't thank you enough for all you're doing. Fine dining and breathing are all I know how to do. <gasps> it worked. I can't believe it. Squilliam thinks I own a five-star restaurant. Time to rub it in his face. Well, Squilliam, I'm waiting. <laughs> All right, I admit it. Everything is fabulous. The food, the atmosphere, everything's flawless. In that case, I would like you to read this. Uh, Squidward Tentacles... And I need you to wear this. Squidward Tentacles has the fanciest... I'm sorry, one more time. Squidward, Squidward tentacles, tentacles has the, the fanciest, fanciest restaurant in Bikini, Bikini Bottom. Bottom. And he does not suck eggs. <laughs> Squidward, I must tell you... Oh. <laughs> Thank you. What really won me over was your brilliant waiter. It's as if all he knows is fine dining and breathing. I must know your name. My name? Yes, your name, son. Uh... Beef Wellington? Uh, <laughs> no, your name. Uh... Uh... Fork on the left? <laughs> Stop joking, tell him your name. My name? What's his name? What's his name? I've got nothing on a name! Come on, baby, give me the name! Uh, <laughs> we threw out his name! Uh, 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 I am so very sorry! I don't know what has gotten into that... Uh, More soup for your armpit? <laughs> Please enjoy the food! Would you like some cheese on that, sir? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Run for your lives, everybody! It's the appetizer! Well, Squiddy, I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, I admit it. I'm a fraud. This was all a futile, pathetic attempt to impress you. This isn't really my restaurant. <laughs> I'm just a cashier. Squidward, I understand. I have a confession to make myself. I made everything up about my life. I have no yachts, jets, or anything. I was only trying to impress you. The horrible sad truth is, I'm a cashier too! <laughs> really? Of course not! I'm filthy stinking rich! Come on, everyone! Let's all take a ride in my balloon slash casino! Ugh, I've got such a headache. What's going on with you? Oh, the usual. Will you get out of here? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs>
you lose. No, I got dead again. This game stinks. See, that's why you must always pay attention to the mountain. I am listening to you, mountain. Don't eat the yellow sand, Patrick. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> hey, Sandy, watch me do the grouchy Squidward. Stop naming moves after me. Everybody's an idiot except for me. Well, it's true. <laughs> SpongeBob, look out for that tree! Huh? Whoa! Don't worry, guys, everything is under control, because I'm an expert! Huh, funny. Someone turned that mountain upside down. SpongeBob, land on your bottom. It'll cushion the impact of the fall. Like this? No, your other bottom. Don't you have to be stupid somewhere else? Not until four. Uh... Oh, that's gotta hurt. Do it again, I wasn't looking. Well? It looks like your Glutamus Maximus has made a full recovery. My what has a what now? Your butt's all better. It's really quite amazing. It took 20 hours to put it all back together. We actually ran out of staples and had to use a glue stick. Yep, you're a lucky, 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 lucky luck boy. But from now on, I want you to be more careful. One more injury like that and you could wind up like that poor creature there. In the iron butt. Oh man, it itches. Ah, oh, you heard the doctor, SpongeBob. One more injury like that, and it's the iron butt. I've been too careless back there. From now on, I am on around the clock butt patrol. Hop, hop, hop! Stay away from my backside, I'm warning you. What's your problem? Phew. That was close. Hey, SpongeBob, why don't you join us? We need an extra player. Nice catch, Percy. <sighs> hey, SpongeBob, you've got to try this, dude. We finally got enough people for a seven mile spanking machine. <laughs> ouch, 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 <laughs> ouch. <laughs> no, no. Is this where the line starts? My butt's not safe out here! No part of me is safe. <laughs> Yee hee ha! Adam Cowboy! Hey, SpongeBob! <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Hey, SpongeBob, ready to go sandboarding again? SpongeBob? Hello, friends. Enjoying the outside world? What you y'all doing sitting in the middle of the floor like that? Oh, just living out the remainder of my life in safety. If you guys were smart, you would join me. That accident made me realize that it's dangerous out there. I was one of the lucky ones. I am a survivor. And so I have simply decided that I am never leaving my house again. That's crazy talk. That's not crazy talk. This is crazy talk. Blah, 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 Sorry. No, Patrick's right, Sandy. You saw what happened. And next time it won't be just my butt, it'll be my armpit or my forehead. Or your other armpit. I was wrong to go against nature. I'm a sponge. What was I thinking, walking? My people are sedentary. 
Just sitting in your house? Ain't you gonna get lonesome? Oh, I won't be lonesome. I've got all the friends I need right here. This is Penny. And Chip. And say hello to you, Napkin. Well, how are you gonna keep your job at the Krusty Krab? No problem. A really long spatula. What about eating? I'm a sponge! I'll just filter feed! <sighs> SpongeBob, sooner or later you're gonna have to go outside! <sighs> Listen, I've told you, but I'm never leaving my house again! Never ever? Never ever ever. Never, ever, 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 for never, ever? Never, 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 never. Never, ever, 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 ever? Ugh. Never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, never. Okay, that's enough, Patrick. Chip. Would you mind showing these two to the door? Thank you, Chip. I guess I'll have to find a new best friend. Hey, Squidward! No! Don't worry, Patrick. We'll get SpongeBob to come outside, and then he'll see there's nothing to be afraid of. Look at all the jellyfish out here! Too bad SpongeBob's missing out on all the fun. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Look at those fools, risking their lives jellyfishing. My new hobby is much safer, isn't it, Chip? Dust collecting. I think I caught one. We've got to try something else. Three, Three cheers, cheers on, on your birthday, birthday SpongeBob. SpongeBob! Three cheers for you! Now you gotta blow out the candles and make a wish. I don't need to wish, Penny. Everything I could ever want is right here. In fact, let's sing our own song about the joy of staying indoors. I know of a place where you never get harmed. A magical place with magical charms. Indoors, indoors, indoors. Take it away, Penny! <laughs> that Penny has the most beautiful voice. That is it, Square Pants. We're gonna find you something that's so dang fun that you'll have to come outside. Trampoline. Ice cream. Underwater surfing. Two ice creams. Ferris wheel. Still two ice creams. <sighs> Clam wrestling. Watching an old person. Patrick, that's not fun. It is for me. Nothing's working, Patrick. What do we do? I say we take a bath. What? Uh, uh, will you get out of here? All right, SpongeBob, you win. Stay inside forever. Yours is truly the Iron Whale. Now, Pat. Eek! A gorilla! Save me, SpongeBob! Okay, guys, really, this is your saddest attempt yet. Even Chip knows that that's Patrick in the same costume that he wore for Halloween last year. No, really! You've got to come save me! Hey, Sandy! Who's your friend? Uh, but, 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 
you're supposed to be in the gorilla suit. I am in the gorilla suit. I thought I was doing a pretty good job. Well, if you're Patrick, then who's that? <gasps> a real gorilla? Huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> This can't be happening! <laughs> this is exactly the kind of thing I was talking about! Well, they were asking for it. It's not like I didn't warn them about the dangers of the outside. Yes, Chip, I know they're my two dearest friends in the world, but I told them I wasn't going outside no matter what! We can do without the name calling, thank you very much, use napkin. I know, Chip. If I was out there, bagged by an ape, Patrick and Sandy would risk anything to save me. And I've got to do the same for them. If I don't come back alive, Chip. Take care of Gary. Meow. Well... Here I go, from the safety of my home to the outside world. I'm taking my first step. So far, so good. I think I can do this. Uh, uh, oh dear, Neptune, get it off me, get it off me. Chip, help me, help me. <laughs> I'm still alive! I did it! I made it outside! Nothing can stop me now! Is it too late to go back inside again? It's too late. Patrick? Sandy? Yes, SpongeBob? I'm sorry I caused all this. I'm not scared of going outside anymore. But I'm terrified of gorillas now. <laughs> well, it's okay, SpongeBob. Us too. You know what I don't understand, though? What? What's a gorilla doing underwater in the first place? <laughs> well, uh, it's funny you should... Um, uh, you see, uh, uh, uh... George, they're onto us! Uh, Sandy? Hey Sandy, what's with the sign? Look, she's on the eating channel. Howdy. If y'all are watching this, that means I'm asleep for the winter. This sleep is called hibernation. During hibernation, animals do not like to be woken up, so do not disturb! That means you, Spongebob. We better put these on. Never mind, Pat. Sandy said not to come in. Let's am Gray. When are you gonna learn, Spongebob? No means yes! Patrick, listen, how many times do we have to- Spongebob, look at this! <gasps> what 
is this stuff? It's a vast, swirling wonderland of sparkling white pleasure. Let it fill your senses with cascading fluffy pillows of excitement and comfort as you've never felt before. Wow, Patrick. <laughs> that was beautiful. What? I was just reading this candy wrapper, see? Ugh. Patrick, put your helmet back on! You know there's no water in Sandy's house! It's okay, Spongebob. This stuff is water! Look! I guess you're right. It's okay here. Take it off. No one's looking. Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Woo yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> SpongeBob, do you hear that? I think it came from Sandy's tree. That is one tired tree. Let's check it out. Look what's in Sandy's bed. It looks like an overinflated Sandy doll. I think this thing is Sandy. Hibernation must mean the opposite of beauty sleep. Mm, I've had enough of your dastardly deeds, Sturdy Dan. I'm gonna get you and your partner, Pinhead Larry, or my name ain't Sheriff Sandy. <laughs> She must be dreaming about Texas Outlaws. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Sandy. I'm Dirty Dan. I'ma uh, catch you and throw you in jail at taxpayer's expense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better run faster, Sandy. Yeah, I'm getting away. Faster. Hurry! We're getting in the taxi! Faster, faster! Faster! I'll get you two! You're nothing but pure evil! Just lack newspaper comics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Patrick. We shouldn't disturb her anymore. Well, that's not disturbing. This is disturbing! <gasps> Hi there, Spongebob. My name is Pat Back. That, that is really disturbing. <laughs> uh, Spongebob? Huh? SpongeBob, she's gaining on us! Sandy, no! Stop! I warned you, Dirty Dan! Now you just crossed the border into Hartville! Uh, Sandy, it's us! Your friends, SpongeBob and Patrick! Please, Sandy, I can't afford dry cleaning! Gonna skin y'all and make a pair of size six boats. Fun's over. Whew, we sure don't want to wake her up again. Too bad we don't have any earplugs to put on her. Yeah, all's I got is this belly button lint. <laughs> all right, Pat! <laughs> Gonna rip your arms off. <laughs> Flapjacks. Well... That ought to work. He said he doesn't work! Hey Sandy, if you can't hear us, don't say anything. Hey Sandy, don't wake up! <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Sheriff Sandy! Die. 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 
You're under arrest. You'll never catch me. <laughs> 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 hey, that's not fair! Cowboys couldn't afford cannons. They couldn't afford station wagons either. Nice paneling. Alright, Pinhead, your time is up! Who you calling Pinhead? I want to be Dirty Dan! What makes you think you can be Dirty Dan? I'm dirty. I'd say I'm Dirty Dan. I'd say I'm Dirty Dan. No. I'm Dirty Dan. I'm Dirty Dan. Ouch. I'm Dirty Dan. 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 I'm Dirty Dan! Ah. Screaming will get you no- <laughs> Which one of you fellers is the real Dirty Dan? Uh, I am? Okay, Pinhead Larry, now you get yours! Huh? Ah! Pinhead! You're gonna pay for all those crimes, Pinhead! Sandy, stay back! I'm warning ya! Okay! I warned ya! Did you win? Hi, SpongeBob! Okay, SpongeBob, you can be Dirty Dan. I just want to be Patrick. Let's get out of here before Sandy wakes up again. <laughs> Ouch! Sorry, Patrick, but the door is slippery. It's frozen shut. Let me have a try. <laughs> Open sesame. Well, I've done all I can do. Then we're stuck in here. Until the door thaws. In spring. Barnacles. <laughs> Is it spring yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm so cold that I'm shivering. <laughs> I'm so cold that I could use my nose drippings as a pair of chopsticks. <laughs> I'm so cold that I'm shivering. <laughs> Maybe we could build a fire. I got it. We'll burn the bark from Sandy's tree. You're gonna be wearing an iron lung when I'm through at you, Pinhead. The fire's not gonna happen, Patrick. I don't get it. How does Sandy survive these intense conditions every year? Maybe she just ignores it. Maybe... 
Maybe... Maybe it's her fur! Yeah! yeah. Look at all that warm, toasty fur. It's like a gold mine, but with fur. Carefully. Carefully. Come on, do it! I'm freezing here! Alright, alright, hang on a second. That should be enough, right? Sponge, I'm a big man. A big, big man! Well, I guess I've lived a full life. This is taking too long! I want the warm now! Pat, no! Are you crazy? No, I'm warm. Let me see that roll of tape. Man, that fur really hits the spot. No more frozen armpits. And this eyebrow-goatee combo works like a charm. This is the best idea we have ever had. You said it. I'm ready for the longest, coldest winter ever. Bring, Bring it, it on. on. Spring? Wow, spring already? <laughs> A tartar sauce? The lock is still frozen! Well, I sure can't wait to get outside and warm my fur! <gasps> oh look! It's Spongebob and Patrick! <laughs> huh? <laughs> it's okay, Sandy. Squirrel pattern baldness is quite common in small mammals. SpongeBob... Patrick... <laughs> Don't worry, Sandy. We got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> More lemonade, boys? Thanks, Thanks Sandy. Sandy. Spring sure is lovely. Come on, SpongeBob, it's quitting time. I've got a card game tonight. Who are you playing with, Mr. Krabs? I'm going over to the chum bucket to play with Plankton. Ugh, Plankton? But Mr. Krabs, he's your arch enemy. He's been trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula for years. Why would you play cards with him? Between you and me, Plankton is the worst card player in Bikini Bottom. Why, I've been taking him to the cleaners every Thursday night for 15 years. I never lose. <laughs> Taking him to the cleaners. <laughs> How'd your card game go last night, Mr. Krabs? I lost. Barnacles, Mr. Krabs? How much money did you lose? I didn't lose any money. I lost. Don't tell me you lost a Krusty Krab. I lost. Mr. Krabs, please tell me you didn't lose the Krabby Patty secret formula. I lost you. <laughs> what? 
I bet your contract, and I lost. <laughs> Good one, Mr. Krabs. Well, I gotta go make those Krabby Patties. <laughs> I'm afraid you don't work here anymore. Please tell me this isn't a joke. <laughs> Go on, Mr. Krabs. Tell him. Tell him about your cruel, sick joke. As much as I love cruel, sick jokes, I'm afraid he's not joking. You work for me now, SpongeBob. Time to put on the official Chum Bucket Bucket Helmet. Ah, but Mr. Krabs, I don't want to work for him. I want to work for you here at the Krusty Krab. I'm sorry, boy. It's all my fault. What kind of cold, heartless person would break apart such a loving relationship? I would! Spongebob! Mr. Krabs! <laughs> this is your greatest blunder, Krabs. For 15 years, I've been throwing those card games just waiting for you to slip up. I may not have the precious Krabby Patty formula, but I've got the next best thing. The guy who makes them! I'm gonna run you out of business, Krabs! Mr. Krabs! SpongeBob! <laughs> Can I have my arms back? What is this place? <laughs> okay, I'm ready for my Krabby Patty. Actually, uh, Mr. Plankton, sir, I haven't... Uh... Perhaps you don't understand. You work for me now. And as your new boss, I command you to make me a patty this instant or I will be forced to remove your brain and implant it in my robot chef! So, get cooking. The sign says kitchen, but my heart says jail. A stove is a stove, no matter where you go. A patty is a patty, that's what I see. A grill is a grill. This is surely so old. And fries should be fries either way. But this grill is not a home. This is not the stove I know. I would trade all the way if you'd come back to stay. This kitchen's not the same without you. It's just a greasy spoon. Just a greasy spoon without you. Is he doing all these tears and the show tunes why isn't he making the patties 
Oh, forget it. I'm going with plan B. I'm putting his brain in the robot chef. You know that never works. The answer is obvious. To get to the SpongeBob, you must show him compassion and understanding. Then he'll give you what you want. Will you be quiet? I'm thinking. <gasps> I've got it. To get to the SpongeBob, I'll show him compassion and understanding. Then he'll give me what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! I'm sorry, Plankton. I've tried my best. I'm not used to cooking this way. Please don't take my brain out! Hold it, SpongeBob. I'm capable of compassion and understanding. Really? Then I want to go back to the Krusty Krab. Let's not get carried away. Now, what can I do to make you more comfortable here at the Chum Bucket? Well, I usually cook on a grill. You got it! <laughs> Ugh. Well, it wasn't easy, but here it is. One old frying grill. How about we try it out? <gasps> oh, uh, it's just that... I'm used to the grill facing that way. Say no more, I'll take care of everything. <laughs> How about here? A little more to the left. How's this, SpongeBob? Move it over a little more. Here? Keep going. Almost. Perfect. Right here. I don't know. It still doesn't feel right. Just a few more steps, SpongeBob. Okay, go ahead and take it off. It's an exact replica of the Krusty Krab Kitchen. <gasps> it is an exact replica. Here's the sink, the greasy fryers, the squeaky floorboards, and that thing. One Krabby Patty coming up, Mr. Krabs. Uh. Oh, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Don't cry, SpongeBob. I'll show you it's much better working for me. Is there anything that old skinflint Krabs wouldn't let you have? Well, there is one thing I've always wanted. Wow. So now, do you have everything you need to make some Krabby Patties? Well... You ready to make some Krabby Patties? Wait till I finish my ice cream! How about those patties? Die! Ah, faster, faster! And then the littlest sea elf said... <laughs> <laughs> Steady, Plankton. It's all gonna pay off soon enough. Hey there, sleepyhead. What do you say? All this preparation is making me hungry. <gasps> me too. You know what would really hit the spot? Why don't you whip us up a couple of Krabby Patties? Hmm... I'm kind of in the mood for tacos. <laughs> Good one, SpongeBob. But really, why don't you go ahead and make us a patty? <sighs> nah, I don't really feel like it. But I don't understand. You have the grill, the spatula, the comfy chair. I rubbed your putrid feet! Tell you what, Half Pint, why don't you ask me later? I command you to make me a Krabby Patty this instant! No! Don't backsass me! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's it, mister! You just lost your brain privileges! Finished! 
SpongeBob come in here? <coughs> or should I say Robot Bob Sponge Chef Pants? I put the brain inside the robot. You shouldn't have been a spoiled brat. You see, I always get what I want. And I want you to make me a Krabby Patty. Response, why don't you ask me later? What? What? Get welded. Wait, I command you to make me a Krabby Patty this instant. I don't wanna. Well, old girl, this looks like our final chapter. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. You've got to take that little yellow nightmare back. It's not worth it. I'm better off stealing a Krabby Patty fair and square. Um, well... Hmm, a deal's a deal, Plankton. He's your headache now. Oh, please have mercy, Krabs! I'll do anything! I beg of you! Hmm, how about you give me 50 bucks, and I'll take him off your hands. It's a deal! I cheated anyway. Now be gone with you, you puny pest! Thank you! Ouch. My brain and I are glad to be back, Mr. Krabs. Glad to have you back, lad. Now get to those patties. The lunch rush is a-coming. <sighs> I don't really feel like it. Why don't you ask me later, Krabby? <laughs> I mean, I'm working all day for free. My treat. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. Closing time, the happiest time of the day. <laughs> Closing time, the saddest time of the day. <laughs> huh? It's a Krabby Patty. Ugh, it's cold and hard. This could have rolled under there years ago. There, there, little one. Your journey is almost over. <sighs> what happened? Someone tried to throw away a patty! Pinch-o-matic has saved you 5.2 cents. But Mr. Krabs, I found that under the grill. In tomorrow? A customer will find it under his bun. But it's old and cold and so very full of mold. You are not making another patty until that one is sold. Understand? The next day. Order up, Squidward. Hooray. Ah, <laughs> <coughs> uh, SpongeBob? Can I get one with less... fog? Sorry, Squidward. Mr. Krabs' orders. Whatever. Here you are, sir, one Krabby Patty. I don't understand. We haven't had a customer in weeks. I wonder if it's the new placemats. What? Placemats? Have you lost your mind? It's that old patty you keep trying to sell to everybody. It's gone bad. Gone bad? That's nonsense. Bring it here, SpongeBob. Uh, why is it in a cage? Because it growled at me. 
<laughs> you two would have never lasted in the Navy. Let's see how bad you are. No, no. Stay. That a girl. There, there. See? Good enough to eat. Oh, look. An ambulance. Now then. Hum. SpongeBob. Yes, Mr. Krabs? Make sure you wrap up that patty. I'm not finished with it yet. Well, Mr. Krabs, you gave us quite the scare. So I'm gonna be okay, Doc? <laughs> well, if you don't want to take my word for it, let's just check your chart. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, oh. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> Everything okay, Doc? <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Oh, oh, oh no, it's the Flying Dutchman! Eugene Krabs, your time has come! I'm not Eugene Krabs, I'm, a uh, Harold. Harold, uh, Flower. Oh, sorry, I must have the wrong room. Oh, uh, uh, uh... Excuse me, nurse! Yes? Uh... I'm looking for Eugene Krabs! Oh, he's in that room right there. No, that's Harold Flower's room! Harold Flower? So, Krabs! You thought you could fool the Flying Dutchman! What do you want from me? I'm here to escort you to the resting place of all bad undersea folk! Davy Jones's Locker! Davy Jones's Locker? Why do I have to go there? I'm not a bad crab. Ah, but you were cheap! And being cheap is a terrible thing. Next stop, Davy Jones's Locker! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why does it smell so foul? Davy Jones worked out a lot. These are his socks. Get in! Oh, please, Mr. Dutchman. I don't want to go in there. I'll do anything. Please give me another chance. Come on, Crab. Show a little dignity. Mommy. All right, all right. Stop your crying. I'll give you another chance. But you must always be generous. Never cheap. You have my word as a sailor. Huh. Mr. Krabs' nose hair clippers. I could use these. <laughs> Squidward, you shouldn't be going through Mr. Krabs' belongings. <laughs> he won't like it. SpongeBob, I told you what the doctor said. Mr. Krabs isn't coming back. Now keep quiet so I can hear the tumblers on his safe. Hey, boys! Mr. Krabs, I knew it, you're alive! Oh, Squidward, look, it's Mr. Krabs. Isn't this too good to be true? Well, it was. You know, boys, being sick made me do a lot of thinking. My whole life has been about money. Saving money. Collecting money. Touching money. <clears throat> well, you get the picture. But no more. You're looking at the new, improved, non-cheap Mr. Krabs. Welcome all, welcome. Hello, little one. What you got there? A Krabby Patty? <laughs> of course you do. You know what that means, right? I... don't go hungry? No, silly! It means free toy! Gee, thanks, Mr. Krabs. 
I thought you were a cheap old tightwad. I was, son, I was. Free toys for everyone and free refills. <laughs> Hello, boy. Say, where's Squidward? Oh, he's taking one of those break things in your office. Oh, I mean, <laughs> the employee lounge. <sighs> Excuse me? I dropped my Krabby Patty. Can I get another one? SpongeBob? Yes, sir. Krusty Krab policy clearly states that once the burger has reached the customer, it is his slash her responsibility. SpongeBob? That's the old policy. Now run back and bring out a fresh one. <laughs> aye, aye, sir. Sorry about the confusion. Free toy? Eugene, my man. Squidward, how's the break coming? Should be over in a couple hours. Have SpongeBob send back a patty and an iced tea, will ya? Sure thing, Squidward. Take it easy. Are you enjoying your in-meal movie? This movie hasn't even been in the theaters yet. No expense spared for my valued customers. Ah, look at all those happy faces. It sure does feel good to be generous. Here's your mail, Eugene. Thanks, Squidward. You look rested. Yeah, these naps are doing wonders for me. Hmm. Credit card bills? Well... I knew this was coming. Let's see what the damage is. Only $10,000. That's not so bad. I'll just subtract that from today's profit. <laughs> and there's no money in here. Arr, 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 arr. How delightful. Squidward, I'm worried about Mr. Krabs. Me too. How are we going to get paid? Gee, Mr. Krabs, you sure are taking total bankruptcy well. Oh, it's just a bad dream. I'll wake up soon. Uh, dream? Sure. I'm still in the hospital, sleeping like a baby. Uh, you checked out of the hospital this morning. Here's the bell. You mean... I'm awake? Ah! No more refills! Give me back them toys, you freeloaders! Show's over, cheapskate! Hey, it's my lucky day! A penny! Your luck just ran out! Hey man, he's back! You're crushing my arm! Unhand that penny or the arm comes off! Aha! That little display of parsimonious penny pinching just stirred you a nice little spot in Davy Jones's locker! For eternity! I'm not cheap, I'm generous! You almost tore a man's arm off for a penny. Thanks, Squidward. I knew I could count on you. Uh, well, a deal's a deal. Let's go. We just a burger flipping second. Who dares back sass the Flying Dutchman? That would be me, SpongeBob Back Sass Pants. I say you got the wrong crab. This, Mr. Krabs, is the most generous, big-hearted, non-skin-flinted crab in the whole sea. He'd sell your soul for a couple of bucks. I bet my soul he wouldn't. You got yourself a bet. Okay, Krabs, I'll let you stay. But first, help me settle a bet. If you had to choose between Spongebob and all the money I have in me pocket, which would you take? That depends. How much money are we talking about? Mr. Krabs? Sixty-two cents! I'll take the money. Mr. Krabs? Here you go, Krabs. Sixty-two cents! Next stop, Davy Jones's locker! Uh...
Look, Squidward, money! Mr. Krabs, I can't believe I'm saying this, but how could you trade SpongeBob for 62 cents? Do you think I could have gotten more? He stuck up for you, and you sold him out. You should be ashamed of yourself! Oh, what have I done? I want another chance. I didn't learn anything. I lost me best fry cook. I don't want this foul money. I want SpongeBob back. <laughs> Here, take him back! You heard what I said about the money? Heard what you said? I couldn't hear myself thinking with this one around. I only I had him for 30 seconds. Closest to everything. And I it's jellyfishing this jellyfish. and Mermaid Man that. Bring your own net. Why not giving him back is a fate worse than death. He's your problem now. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, about trading you for pocket change. Say no more, Mr. Krabs. You did it for the Krusty Krab. I would have done the same thing. You would have? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dutchman Residence! So as I was saying, you and me gotta hang out more. What nights are good for you? Here are the nights that are good for me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I gotta work. I work at the Krusty Krab. My best friend is Patrick. He's pink. Good, good morning, Pineapple! Good morning, Gary! Good morning, world! I'm ready! World? Talk to me. Package, sir! Aha! Uh -huh. I can't believe it's finally here! Here you go! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, Mr. Mm, tennis Balls! That's Tentacles! Squidward's last name is Tentacles? Poor guy. Hey, check out Squidward's new snail! Fancy. So that's what came in the mail. <laughs> Looks like Gary has a new little playmate! <laughs> Dream on, SpongeBob. I wouldn't let Snelly play with that mongrel mutt. She's a purebred. Wow, a snail made out of bread? But, uh, no, purebred means she is of the highest pedigree. See, she even has her own papers. So if you'll excuse us, Snelly has to start her training. Training? For Bikini Bottom Snail Race, Snelly will be winning this Sunday. Sunday? Well, I guess I can't enter Gary in that. Sunday's laundry day! No, SpongeBob. You can't enter Gary because Gary's a mutt. <laughs> Boy, you got that right. Gary's no... <clears throat> hey, what makes you so sure Gary couldn't win that race? Pay. Hers. Hmm. Property of Squidward Tentpoles. That's tennis balls. D uh, tentacles. Ugh, come on, Snelly. You know what? I'm starting to get the idea that Squidward thinks his snail is better than mine. No. Patrick? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. I should get a snail and enter it in that race and beat Squidward! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? No, no, no! 
I'm thinking about entering you in that race and beating Squidward Snail. <coughs> Looks like we're going to have to start our training now, ladies. <laughs> I call you a lady to humiliate and demean you. It's a motivational tool we coaches use. Hmm. I don't know why, but I think I'll kick SpongeBob's butt tomorrow. Kelp powder for muscle mass. <coughs> Raw eggs, cause they're cliche. And nails for toughness. <coughs> well, of course I expect you to eat this. It's scientifically designed to help you win tomorrow. Gary? Wow, pretty good time. Hey, SpongeBob! Check out my new snail! Patrick, your snail is a rock. <laughs> yeah, thanks, I know. He's got nerves of steel. See you at the big race! Boy, the competition's getting tough. That's it, Gary. We are going to start some serious training right now. All right, Gary, let's start with some sprints. On your mark, get set, go, 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 Gary, come on, Gary, go, Gary, it's all yours, Gary. Gary? Come on, Gary, the big race is tomorrow. You got to start training if you want to win. <laughs> Don't waste your breath, SpongeBob. That mongrel of yours doesn't have a chance against Snelly. Excuse me, but you two seem to be forgetting who the real winner will be. My snail. Patrick, that's a rock. <laughs> yeah, thanks, I know. He's got nerves of steel. Like I said, don't even bother showing up tomorrow. <laughs> My snails really got Squidward scared, huh, SpongeBob? Sorry, Patrick. Gary and I have got some serious work to do. You can run, but you can't hide, SquarePants! Alright, Gary, no more fooling around. Time to get serious. Come on, Gary, move it! Up, 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 up! Down, 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 down! Faster, faster, faster! Go, go, go! Come on, push it! Gary, push it! Move that shell! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up! Move it, Gary! Move it, move it, move it, move it! Stroke, 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 stroke! Come on, Gary, we're gonna be late for the big race! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our live coverage of this year's annual Spring Classic. The 122nd running of the snail. And what a beautiful day for this sport of kings, of which I am a huge fan. <laughs> Seriously, I'm just a fan. I was on my way to my seat and the door was open. Hey, what are you doing? Good. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Let's go down to the field to join the mayor for the pre-game ceremony. And now, for the lighting of the torch of good sportsmanship, please join me in welcoming Snail Racing's first ever champion, Lightning Larry Luciano! Would you look at that, folks? Lightning Larry Luciano, a living legend, slowly making his way to center stage. And what a proud moment for this sport. The crowd is going absolutely nuts for Larry. <laughs> He's almost there. Uh, yeah. Any minute now. Two hours later. He's almost a quarter of the way there. The torch is lit, let the race begin! Well, SpongeBob, I must admit, I didn't think that mongrel mutt of yours would even find the starting line. Congratulations! <laughs>
Save it for the loser's circle, Squidward. Gary happens to be in the best shape of his life. <coughs> I'll alert the paramedics. <laughs> Good one, Squidward. You guys ready? <gasps> A burglar! No, Patrick, that's the official. We're uh, ready to start here, folks. Okay, Snelly. Let's show these common garden variety snails what superior breeding is all about. Meow. All right, Gary, listen up. The competition is going to be fierce. You're the under snail. Everybody's already counting you out. Now get out there and win, so we can rub Squidward's big fat nose in it. Meow. This is what you've been training for, Rocky. This is why we're here! On your mark, get set, slither! And they're off! Number six, Nelly rockets out of the starting block, leaving the other two competitors in the dust. What? Oh, Snelly, you got it, baby! What are you doing, Gary? The race has started! You let Snelly take the lead! Come on, let's go, Gary! Start moving! You're blowing everything we trained for! Blowing it! It's okay, Rocky. You go when you feel like it. Gary, are you listening to me? Get the anchors out of your pants right now! Don't give me that look. I said now, mister! Get going, Gary! Go, 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 go! And there goes number seven out of the starting gate. So, hang on, folks. He doesn't look so good. Not good enough, Gary. Not good enough. Faster. I do not like the look of this. Come on, Gary. It's a race. A race. Have you heard of them? That coach is pushing that snail too hard. Faster, Gary. Faster, 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 faster. Huh? Oh, looks like number seven has a blowout. Oops. Make that too, folks. Uh, Gary? Plus a blown head gasket. Oh, and the poor creature's still going for it. Um, Gary, you can stop now. He's losing control! You can take a break now if you want, Gary. He's got any type of the wall! under the track. That is an automatic disqualification. Looks like number six has this race all wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Snelly! It's all you, baby! Oh, Gary, I'm sorry. Why didn't you tell me I was pushing it too hard? You did? Oh, Gary, why didn't you tell me I wasn't listening? You did? Oh, Gary. Oh, Gary. Meow. What? Gary? Oh. <laughs> my, oh my, folks. I have never seen anything quite like this. It seems Snelly, the leader, just went back to comfort Gary. Looks like you and I are in-laws, eh, Squidward? But that's impossible. If Snelly didn't win, then... Then the winner is Rocky! <laughs> he did it! He did it! He did it! <laughs> I can't believe it. My purebred, which cost me $1,700, Lost to a rock. Don't worry, Squidward. I know how much you wanted to win. So I had the trophy engraved to you. Gosh, Patrick, thanks. The first place snail racing cup presented to Squidward. Tortellini? Will I ever win? 
<laughs> That's for yesterday, square pants. Welcome aboard. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say... Congratulations! You've recently been hired in the Krusty Krab restaurant, and this is your first official day of training. Can I make a Krabby Patty now? Oh no, you've got a lot to learn before you're ready to make a Krabby Patty. As you can see by this graph... <clears throat> Graph, you have been employed in one of the most successful restaurants in Bikini Bottom. But it didn't get that way overnight, because the store closes at 6. No, the story of the Krusty Krab is the story of one man's hard work, perseverance, vision, determination, and sweat. But mostly his sweat. From Humble Beginnings You may think that Mr. Eugene H. Krabs, owner and founder of Krusty Krab Incorporated, has always been the financial wizard that he is today. And you're right! After the war, Krabs stayed secluded in a deep depression that seemed endless. But then his luck changed when he acquired a bankrupt retirement home, and with a few minor alterations, the Krusty Krab was born. <coughs> Sounds like a lot of hoopla. Sounds like a lot hoopla. of hoopla. 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 Sounds like a lot of hoopla to make over a little Krabby Patty, right? <laughs> WRONG! The Krusty Krab Today To keep up with today's demanding customers, no expense has been spared to acquire all the latest achievements in fast food technology. This here is an advanced patty control mechanism. Here you can see our automated money handling system. Don't touch. These are high quality beverage temperature devices. Imported. This here's a prototype liquid transfer machine. And most importantly, you get your state of the art condiment dispersal units. Now are you gonna buy something or just stand there because there's a standing fee? All of this modernization seems a little overwhelming, doesn't it? Well, luckily for you, Mr. Krabs' fear of robot overlords keeps the balance of technology in check. But if modernization is the heart of the Krusty Krab, then his employees are the liver and gallbladder. Let's see if you got what it takes. Hmm. Poised? Confident, and a smile that says, Hello world, may I take your order? You've got the makings of a good employee, Mr. Squarepants. But for every good employee, there is one who is not so good. Let's see. Inattentive, impatient, a glazed look in the eyes. Look carefully at the... I really wish I weren't here right now, Button. There is a name for employees like this, but we'll call him Squidward. I'm getting paid overtime for this, right, Mr. Krabs? Sorry, Squidward. Can't hear ya. Training. Does this mean I get to make a Krabby Patty now? No, you can't make a Krabby Patty without understanding the phrase poop. Poop? Once you understand poop, you'll understand your place at the Krusty Krab. 
But what does poop mean? Ah. Uh. It's actually a carefully organized code. Watch closely. People order our patties. Oh, poop. Looks like Mr. Squarepants understands poop. Here's a typical customer. I wonder what he wants. Well, if we just remember poop, we can figure it out. Ah, uh, I'd like to order. Do you think he's going to order A, a sofa, B, an expensive haircut, or C, a patty? One patty, please. Ah, poop, you never let us down. Now that you understand poop, I bet you think you're ready to make a Krabby Patty. Krabby Patty! <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, eager McBeaver. We haven't talked about personal hygiene. Every employee at the Krusty Krab must comply with a strict set of personal hygiene guidelines. Okay, Mr. Squarepants. Are you ready to prepare for your shift? A good employee always scrubs his hands thoroughly. Be sure to get under those fingernails. And don't forget about the knuckles. And make sure those palms are squeaky clean. Alright, let's see those hands. Now that's thorough. After making sure your boots are polished, your face is clear of any blemishes or boils, and your hair is neat and tidy, you are ready to start the day. Now let's see how Squidward prepares for his shift. Remember, no employee wants to be a Squidward. Now that you're clean and hygienic, I bet you think you're ready to make that Krabby Patty. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Whoa -ho 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 there. We have a few more topics to cover first. Your workstation. It's important to keep your area tidy and free of droppings. But a clean workstation is only part of the job. To make the vision in your head a reality, you'll need supplies. And a good employee always keeps his supplies well organized. Very nice, Mr. Squarepants. Not a pickle out of place. Now, let's see how Squidward keeps his workstation. <laughs> Don't worry, Squidward. Mr. Squarepants can cover for you. Now that your workstation is up and running, perhaps you think you're ready to make the world-famous Krabby Patty. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa there, calm down. There's still plenty of time left. We have to make sure you're ready for the psychological aspect of the job. Interfacing with your boss. Mr. Krabs, can I have a raise? No. Good job, Mr. Squarepants. Can I make a Krabby Patty now? Now we go from behind the scenes to the front lines where we'll examine the most important aspect of the industry, the customer. Or as we like to say, the crustomer. Who said that? Are you a ghost? Like the precious blood in an animal, the customer is what makes the crusty crab strong and alive. Squidward, your ceiling is talking to me. Are you going to order something or just make friends with the paneling? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll have an, uh, 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 what's it? Patrick, go be stupid somewhere else. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Squidward, remember what Mr. Krabs says. 
The money is always right. The ceiling is right, Squidward. You're not a very good employee. Fine. May I please take your order? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll have a... Uh... We'll check up on these two later. Right now, it's important that we discuss an emergency situation. Like the lost gold of Atlantis, many consider the Krabby Patty to be a treasure. And as with every treasure, there is a thief ready to steal it. So it's up to you to be the watchful eyes of... What's this? It's Mr. Krabs' business rival, Plankton! Eat my microscopic dust, Krabs. Your secret formula is finally mine! He's stealing the formula! What are you going to do, Mr. Squarepants? <laughs> You'll never catch me, Krabs. Not after I switch into maximum overdrive! Hiya! I knew I should have gotten the turbo. Hear me, Krabs. You'll take this Krabby Patty from me when you pry it from my cold, dead. And so another emergency is avoided. Thanks to Mr. Squarepants. Uh, let's check in on Squidward again. Uh... Psst. Squidward. Huh? Just remember, poop. <sighs> Patrick, if I could make a suggestion, why don't you order a Krabby Patty? Great idea, Squidward. One Krabby Patty, please. <sighs> Will that be for here to go? Oh! Uh... <laughs> Hang in there, Squidward. It's all part of the job. Now that we've covered all the basics of your training, it's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Preparing the Krabby Patty! At the center of every great dynasty is the crown jewel that keeps it alive and thriving. For the Krusty Krab, this is the Krabby Patty. And now you, the humble employee of the Stry, the all too necessary human resource that keeps this business afloat, will learn the sacred and dark secrets of how to prepare with your very own hands. God. The sumptuous, lip-moistening, spine-tingling, heart-stopping pleasure center that is the Krabby Patty! Are you ready? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> okay, the secret formula is... And now, back to Crustacean Crime Theater. <laughs> Stop! The... Which way did he go? He went that way! Let's get him, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Curses! Foiled again! What a no-good eel in the kelp that guy was. There ain't nothing worse than a thief 
Thieves need to be locked up forever. They should be strung up by their gills and forced to breathe air. But Mr. Krabs, what about all the stuff you stole? Uh, what do you mean? Like that barrel. It says property of Salty Sea Farms. Oh, that's where I rent me pickles from. Are you renting the barrel too? Well, no. Then you bought it. No. Then isn't that stealing? Well, I, uh, what about this towel from the Sizzling Spring Sauna? Um, well... And this Bikini Bell phone? Well, it's, uh... In Sandy's Head Shoppers? Oh, well, there... And Plankton's lawnmower? Well, he... Even Mrs. Puff's hair curlers? Uh, that one was a gift. Listen, all that stuff is, uh, borrowed. Borrowed? Oh, well, that's a relief. I thought you took it without permission. Ah, uh, permission, sure mission. You can borrow anything you want, anytime. As long as you have it back before it's missed. Everyone knows that, right? Okay. okay. All right, then, hugs. <laughs> uh, you put in a hard day's work, boys. Yeah, but I don't work here. See you later. Oh. That was a close one. What do you want to do today? Uh, I don't know. What do you want to do today? Uh, I don't know. What do you want to do today? I don't know. What do you want to do today? I don't know. What do you want to do today? <gasps> I know what I want to do today. I need some money. Oh. 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 I don't have any money. SpongeBob, I want a balloon really, really badly. Really, really badly. It's okay, Patrick. There's lots of money in the First National Bank of SpongeBob. Follow me! Uh-oh, I'm broke too. Well, maybe we can borrow some money from Squidward. No, wait! Instead of borrowing the money, why don't we just borrow the balloon? Yeah, like Mr. Krabs! It's just borrowing, right? Yeah, and borrowing is okay as long as we bring it back, right? Right! <laughs> this is so great! We're going to have so much fun! First, we can run with the balloon! Yeah, then we can go to the beach with the balloon! Yeah, then we can take a bike ride with the balloon! Then we can go to the movies and the arcade and the ice rink and the pizza shop! And the moon and the sky and there's a car behind a dumpster! And the candy shop! And in my backyard! And in a plane! And over a rock! And under a hill! And with a whale! We, we love, love borrowing! It popped. Ah! Are we going to return it now, SpongeBob? I got the pieces! I got the air! Hurry up and put the pieces on! We popped the balloon! Good! We can't return it! We're, uh, we're thieves! We have to confess! Confess? Are you out of your mind? Do you have any idea what they do to people like us? I mean, we're not talking about some dumb mail fraud scheme or hijacking here. We, we stole a balloon! And they're gonna lock us up forever! You're right. We've just got to keep our heads. Act normal. <laughs> wow, street performers! It's not working! Hi there! <laughs> Don't you want a free balloon? It's National Free Balloon Day! 
He's on to us. It's not safe for Bikini Bottom anymore. We've got to move fast and cover our tracks. <laughs> I'm on it, SpongeBob. Take a last look, Patrick. We can never go back. Goodbye, Bikini Bottom. We've only got ourselves and what we can carry on our backs. Yup. <sighs> We're going to have to travel lighter. I want to go home. We can never go home, Pat. We're wanted men. We'll spend the rest of our lives running, running. But at least it's warm around the fire. Hey, if we're underwater, how could there be a... <laughs> I'm scared, SpongeBob. No more nice warm beds. Huh? No more Krabby Patties. <laughs> no more getting mail! No more Gary. No more movies. No more Squidward. No more Sandy or Pearl or Mr. Krabs. No more anything! <laughs> I want ice cream! <laughs> but it doesn't have to be all bad, right? I mean, at least we still have each other. Yeah. And all that running is good for your buns and thighs, right? Ja, buns and thighs. And the bitter cold, it's bracing, isn't it? Yeah, maybe being a felon can be fun. We can loosen our ties. Yeah, and we can fly. <laughs> yeah. still can't do that. But we don't have to shave. I'm way ahead of you, buddy. And you get to talk tough. <clears throat> this town ain't big enough for the two of us. Oh, 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 let me try. Uh, hey, punk. <laughs> and the best part is, now that we're felons, we don't have to return anything we borrowed. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> and we owe it all to you! What are you talking about? Taking the balloon was your evil plan. Oh, I'm nothing but a lot of talk. You're the one with the sticky fingers. Oh, Patrick. You're the best bad influence ever. You too. No. I wish we had something to eat, though. Look what I got. Rectangles! <laughs> well, not just any rectangles. Candy bars. Ooh. All we have to do is make them last for the rest of our lives. Thanks, SpongeBob. I think I'll eat it now. Hum, hum, hum. <sighs> I think I'll eat it now. <coughs> oh! Ooh. Where'd my candy bar go? Uh, I must have dropped it. You just ate it, Pat. It's all over your face. Where'd it go? I'm gonna starve! Where'd it go? I can't find it! Oh, where could it possibly be? Huh? Aha! What? You stole my candy bar! No, I didn't. Oh, so that's how it is, huh? Once a thief, always a thief. You ate yours, this is mine! You took my only food! Now I'm gonna starve! 
Here, Patrick, just take half of mine. Yours? You mean mine. Do you want it or what? I don't want it unless you admit you took it. This is my candy bar. Liar, liar, plans for hire. It's pants on fire, Patrick. Well, you would know, liar. Well, if you're going to be that way, I'll eat it myself. You better not. I'm warning you. Ah. Don't. Ah. Stop it! <laughs> I should have expected this after the way you stole that balloon! Did I, Patrick? Did I? Or was it your criminal mind that hypnotized me to steal it? <sighs> that it! <laughs> First the balloon, now my candy bar! You're out of control! I'm... I'm telling on you. <laughs> Not if I tell on you first! I'll be you there! <laughs> you're, you're gonna get in trouble! No, you are! <laughs> oh, no, 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 <laughs> we we, we stole a balloon! <laughs> What's the problem here? Well, it appears that these two stole a balloon. What are you gonna do to us? Okay, follow me. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Okay, time's up. Now get out. But, but, but we stole a balloon. Yeah, on free balloon day. <laughs> <laughs> How about some lollipops for the road, boys? Let's vow to never borrow anything without permission again. You said it! <laughs> Alright, which one of you flat foot stole my lollipop? <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. Ah, springtime in Bikini Bottom. All sea creatures have an innate sense of the seasonal changes. Like the starfish. A quick survey of his environment, and he knows that... It's spring! The starfish then sheds his winter coat and stores it away safe for winter. I better call a doctor, cause I've got spring fever! Good morning, little flowers! <laughs> Hello, Squidward! Isn't it a lovely day? Uh, huh? Have you said hello to the flowers yet? <laughs> Good morning, flowers. <laughs> 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 I didn't know Squidward had hay fever. I'll do him a kindness and plant him some hypoallergenic flowers. You're on your way. I bet you're thirsty. Huh? 
Huh? <laughs> I'm not taking my eyes off you. Three days later. <sighs> hey, SpongeBob. Hey, Patrick. How does this keep happening? Huh? Um, hi. <laughs> She's beautiful. What a magnificent seahorse! I shall tame her! Who knows what we can accomplish! Because of her mysterious behavior, I have decided to name her Mystery. Now that I think of it, she's also very graceful and majestic. Perhaps I should name her Grace or Majesty. Or Debbie. <gasps> she must have spotted my floral bookmark. Oh, she's coming this way. That's it, girl. Don't be afraid. I'm just a talking sponge is all. Gosh, Mystery, that was the greatest day of my life! Do you think we'll be friends forever? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes! <laughs> uh oh, what the? Hey, Squidward! Still riding to work on a machine, I see. Don't say anything, Squidward. Remember your karma. Oh, burn that, burn that, oh, damn it! Uh... Whoa, girl. Now you wait out here until I'm done with work. See you at the end of my shift. Hey, Mr. Krabs put in the kitty ride. Why don't you try it out? I can't find the coin slot. Here it is. <laughs> Help! Kitty ride on the loose. What's with all the ruckus? <gasps> a monster! Scaring away me customers! Oh, that's not a monster, Mr. Krabs. It's a horse. She's my friend. Her name is Mystery. You're a mystery, SpongeBob. <laughs> Get rid of it. Uh, oh, please, Mr. Krabs, let her stay. She won't hurt nobody no how. It's either you or Mystery. Oh, I knew I should have named her Debbie. SpongeBob, thanks for finally getting rid of that horse. <laughs> You're welcome, Mr. Krabs. Now if we can just get rid of Squidward. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> Good one, sir. <laughs> it worked, girl. 
I'll just keep you in here until Patrick finishes that stable I asked him to build. Only eight more hours! Twelve seconds later... <laughs> no, Mystery, you can't come out yet! If Old Man Crab sees you, I'll lose my job! Wait a sec! I bet you're hungry! How about some lunch? <laughs> Shh, girl, you gotta be quiet or- SpongeBob! What was that? Is there a horse in here? No, Mr. Krabs. Uh, I was just doing my imitation of mystery. We snaw. We'll keep working on it. That was terrible, damn it. That was close. From now on, no more hijinks. Order up! Huh? SpongeBob, where's my order? Did you look under the tray? Oh, no, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. I did. SpongeBob, could you just get my order? They vanished! Squidward, do you think the Krusty Krab is haunted? What if they come for me next? I gotta get out of here! SpongeBob, there's no ghosts! Oh. In case you've forgotten, here's how things work. I order the food, you cook the food, then the customer gets the food. We do that for 40 years, and then we die. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. What do you say? Uh, yeah, 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 I hear you, Squidward. I'll be right back. What's that? Don't tell Mr. Krabs! I got it all under control! Now then, you were saying? Just get my order. You got it, Squidward. <laughs> Ghosts. <laughs> Mystery, you ate my spatula. You ate all the Krabby Patties. You ate the stove. You ate Old Man Jenkins. I don't want to be a burden. <laughs> Folks, uh, we have a minor situation going on in the kitchen. Where's our food? I'm so hungry. This is my only lunch hour. Where's old man Jenkins? Take it easy. The food's no good here anyway. Squidward, what's going on in here? Why don't you go ask Cow Bob Ranch Pants and his faithful companion Sir Eats A Lot? SpongeBob, what's the meaning of all these nicknames? <gasps> Davy H. Jones! Mystery got a bellyache from eating Krabby Patties, so I made her a bicarbonate of soda. Uh, what did I miss? So, my eyes are correct. You still have that horse even after I ordered you to get rid of it. Well, now I'm going to get rid of it once and for all. No, Mr. Krabs, please don't make me give up Mystery. I know you think she's just a horse, but she's more than that, I tell you. She listens to me. She understands everything I say, and I understand her. She's my best friend. <laughs> uh, hey, who left this bowl of onions here? SpongeBob, your story has touched me heart. Believe it or not... I know what it's like to give up a best friend. You do? I was five years old, and me father gave me a dollar. I loved that dollar. I loved it like a brother. Me and that dollar went everywhere together. What happened to the dollar, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> and one day... At the beach, it was so hot, and I was so thirsty, I spent it on a soda, <laughs> my best friend. <laughs> uh, would you get out of here? The point is, son, sometimes you have to set things free even though it's hard. Look at her. 
She misses the great outdoors, the wide open spaces, the rolling green pastures. <laughs> the kitchen is no place for a live horse. <laughs> All right, Mr. Krabs. I understand. <laughs> hey! Okay, girl. You're free to go. I can't keep you anymore. I know it's hard for you to understand, but Mr. Krabs is right. You belong in the wild. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Can't you see I don't want you anymore? <laughs> Just get out of here, you stupid, dumb animal! <laughs> Well, she's gone, and I'll never see her again. It's okay, son. You did the proper thing. She's free now, and we have no right to separate that wild animal from her natural habitat. Hey, Mr. Krabs. Looks like old Mystery had an after-dinner salad. Get that horse! Uh, wait, mystery, wait, uh, mystery, mystery, come back! Oh, wait. Mystery, no. <laughs> ah. The Krusty Krab, Bikini Bottom's premier daytime eatery, where it will be closing time right about now, eight o'clock. So long, suckers. I got a hot date with a little lady, and her name is Clarinet. Why? Are you open? Read the sign. I'll have a Krabby Patty Deluxe and a double chili kelp fries. No, you won't. I can't hang out here all night. I've got a life. Well, fine, if you don't want my money. Money? You mean, if we stayed up later, you'd give us your money? <laughs> sure. Mr. Squidward, welcome to the night shift. From now on, the Krusty Krab is opened 24 hours a day. What the hell? Wow, now we never have to stop working. Uh, 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 Mr. Krabs? See you in the morning, boys. I can't hang out in here all night. I've got a life. Oh, Mr. Krabs! Isn't this great, Squidward? Just you and me together for hours and hours and hours, and then the sun will come up, and it'll be tomorrow, and we'll still be working! It'll be just like a sleepover, only we'll be sweaty and covered in grease! Are you ready to rock, Squidward? No. Good, cause we've got customers! Here. Please hit me as hard as you can. Psst, Squidward. I'm working in the kitchen <laughs> at night. Don't hold back. Hey, Squidward, guess what? I'm chopping lettuce at night. Look at me, I'm swab in the bathroom at night. <laughs> ah, I burnt my hand at night. Night, 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 Will you please? Here. Give me a moment's peace and take out the trash. All right. Taking out the trash, taking out the trash, at no. You mean outside? That's where the dumpster is, yes. I don't know, Squidward. It's kind of dark out there. But I thought you liked the night shift. 
you're right. For the Krusty Krab! <laughs> Piece of cake. So, you're not afraid? Pfft, nah. Well, I am. Especially after... Well, you know. What? What do I know? You mean you don't remember? It was all over the news! Oh, tell me, tell me! No, 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 I probably shouldn't. It would ruin the night shift for you. What happened, what happened, what happened? You mean you've never heard the story of the... Hash slinging slasher? The slash bringing hasher? The hash slinging slasher! The sash ringing, the trash singing, mash flinging, the, the flash springing, ringing, the c crash dinging, the, the. Yes, the hash slinging slasher. But most people just call him the ha. <laughs> Because that's all they have time to say before he gets them! Uh, tell me the story! Years ago, in this very restaurant, the hash slinging slasher used to be a fry cook just like you. Only clumsier! And then. One night, when he was cutting the patties, it happened. He forgot the secret sauce? No. He didn't wash his hands? No. Irregular portions? No! He cut off his own hand by mistake! Uh, you mean like this? Or like this? Or this? Or this? Or this? Or Except this? he wasn't a sponge. This? So? So it didn't grow back! Oh no! And he replaced his hand with a rusty spatula. And then he got hit by a bus! And at his funeral, they fired him! So now, every... What day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday night! His ghost returns to the Krusty Krab to wreak his horrible vengeance. <laughs> but tonight's Tuesday night! Then, he'll be coming. How will we know? There are three signs that signal the approach of the Hash Slinging Slasher. First, the lights will flicker on and off. Next. Dude, can I have some ketchup? Oh, here you go. Next. The phone will ring and there will be nobody there. And finally, the hash slinging slasher arrives in the ghost of the bus that ran him over. Then. He exits the bus and crosses the street without looking both ways because he's already dead. Then he taps on the window with his grisly spatula hand. And then... No. He opens the door. <laughs> He slowly approaches the counter, and then, you know what he does next? What? You really want to know? What? Are you sure you want to know? What, what, what does he do? He gets you! Ah! Okay, SpongeBob, I was, I was just, I was just, SpongeBob, I was just joking, damn it. What? It's not true, none of it's true. It's not? 
Of course not. Nobody has a spatula for a hand. It was all a joke. Oh. <laughs> Isn't this great, yeah. Squidward? There's never time to wash the ceiling during the day. Oh, open 24 hours a day. What a stupid idea. Who wants a Krabby Patty at 3 in the morning? Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> Just look at this place. It's like a ghost town in here. Oh, well, very funny, SpongeBob. What? And the lights will flicker on and off. Just like the story, I get it. Oh. Hey, Squidward, how are you doing that without moving the switch? I am not doing it. It must be the stupid, faulty wiring in here. This place isn't built to run 24 hours a day. Why, why, why? Hello? 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 <laughs> nice try, Squidward. Nice try what? And the phone will ring, and there will be nobody there. Oh, you crack me up. SpongeBob, I'm not doing this. Okay, okay, no, 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 calm down, calm down. All right, what was it? There was the lights, and the phone, and the walls will ooze green slime. Ah, oh, no, wait, they always do that. But what was the third thing? Huh. I didn't know the buses ran this late. They don't. Well, they're dropping someone off. Last you understand, we're doomed! No, that's not it. I'm just touched that you would go through the trouble to dress up as a ghostly fry cook and stand on the other side of the street just to entertain me. You must really like me. SpongeBob, there are two problems with your theory. One, I hate you. And two, how can that be me when I'm standing right here? <laughs> the hand slinging slasher! No, 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 please, no, no, Mr. Hatsuka, sorry, no, no, Can I get a job application? I brought my own spatula. I called here earlier, but I hung up because I was nervous. Do you have any references? Wait, 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 wait. If that was you on the phone and on the bus, then who was flickering the lights? Come on, you stupid light. Lorenzo! No, guys, I was having trouble with the lights again. 
Uh, do you want us to keep going then? You know what? It's fine. The, the episode is pretty much over anyway. Are you sure you want to stop? Don't we have another joke to do? Well, no. Unless that is you want to keep going. Oh, well, I, I, I suppose not. No? Well, how about you? Nah, nah, nah. We're, we're good over here. Perfect. Mermaid Man, fleet and forceful, with the ability to assemble and charge the creatures of the deep by the power of Neptune! Mermaid Man, with his young associate Barnacle Boy, fights for all creatures who live in the sea against the forces of evil! Oh no! The Raging Whirlpool! <laughs> Mermaid Man! Champion of the Deep! <laughs> Come on, Barnacle Boy! There's evil afoot! Leap and lab rays, Mermaid Man! I'm right behind you! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy spotted their arch enemy, Reflecto, up to no good. Huh, SpongeBob. You know what this means? Donuts. Ooh. By the power of Neptune! Mermaid, Mermaid Man, Man and, and Barnacle, Barnacle Boy, Boy unite! unite! Creatures of the Deep, assemble! <laughs> Think harder, Barnacle Boy! <sighs> Here they come! Blast! Reflecto has become too powerful! What the? If Reflecto is cut off from sunlight, he becomes weak! Jumping jellyfish, Mermaid Man! He's destroying the shield! <laughs> Quick, Barnacle Boy! Back to the sea cave! Right, Mermaid Man! SpongeBob! SpongeBob, open up! Reflecto has found our secret lab! What would a real Mermaid Man do? Why don't you go ask him yourself? Elaborate, you vile fiend! He and Barnacle Boy live in the retirement home on the other side of town. Hmm... They must be working undercover. Uh... Yeah. Now please leave me alone. Mermaid, Mermaid Man, Man and, and Barnacle, Barnacle Boy reunite! <laughs> Uh, excuse me? I, uh, know that Mermaid Man is working undercover on an important case, but do you think we can see him? Undercover? Yeah, well, I'll see if they can take time from their busy schedule to see you. Well, there they are. <laughs> Try not to surprise them. Oh, Patrick! <laughs> Can you believe it? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in the flesh! Ah! Uh, hey, who are those guys? Uh, are they here to fix the TV? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Uh, um, are you Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Uh, well, uh, we used to be, but now we're retired. Huh? But you can't retire! There's evil afoot! <laughs> Barnacle Boy! Come quick! I got the evil! Uh, all I said was there's evil afoot. Evil! Would you please stop saying that? Death Ray! Wow. Mermaid.
mermaid man and barnacle boy. It's too bad they're old. What do you mean, Patrick? Old people are the greatest. They're so full of wisdom and experience. The world needs mermaid man and barnacle boy. Someone, somewhere is in trouble. And I won't rest until mermaid man and barnacle boy are out of retirement. To the meatloaf! To the broccoli! Uh, make sure you give extra broccoli to my young ward. The boy needs his vitamins. Here you go, son. <laughs> to the table! Away! Careful! Uh, don't run! Hey, Mermaid Man! Oh. Here comes the TV repair man. What do you want from us? Hold on. Just let me look at ya. Uh, stay alert, Barnacle Boy. <laughs> He's up to something. Will, will, you, will you stop calling me boy? Do you remember the time the food supply to Atlantis was running low? So you invented a ray gun that makes things grow six times their size to shoot at the kelp gardens? But then, the evil man ray swoops down and swipes the gun away and shoots all the algae! And he globs onto the undersea dome! And he starts sucking on the glass! What's your point, kid? You guys are the greatest heroes of all time! And I think you should come out of retirement. Listen up, you villains! I want to eat my meatloaf! And if you don't get out of here... Then by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> what the hell is going on in here? You may kiss the bride. Did you reunite our heroes? No, but I'm married. Up, up and away! Up, up and away! Oh my, this purse is so big and heavy. Hold it right there, ma'am. I'll be taking that. Ah, help, help, help! Is working? Why, are you here to rescue little old me? Pipe, Pipe down! down. You could wake Mermaid Man, and he's ornery when his nap is disturbed. Ever alert, Mermaid Man has trained himself to sleep with his eyes opened. Confound it! Get away from him! Stop shouting, I'm napping! It's not me, old coot! Yes, that's me. I'm over here. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Mermaid Man. Uh, what do you want? This'll cheer you up. We're almost done painting your invisible boatmobile. It's supposed to be invisible! That's it! We gotta end our life of leisure. It's time to come out of retirement. There's evil afoot. Evil! Where is it? There it is! You know what this means? Donuts! Ah, brother. Say the oath! Mermaid, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, Boy unite! unite! Throw a water ball at him! Water, water balls! Water balls! balls. Water balls. Mumbling boris! It's not working, Mermaid Man! Uh, he's absorbing it like some kind of evil sponge! Dog, Dog paddle, paddle away! away. It's, it's the Raging Whirlpool! The fiends! They're actually enjoying it! 
<laughs> yes, do it again! <laughs> now what, Mermaid Man? We need help! Sea, sea Creatures, creatures Unite! Damn, the creatures of the deep seem to have lost some of their luster. Sea Creatures! Attack! Pinch me, I must be dreaming! Mission accomplished, Patrick! Yeah, we did it! I did it! I feel five years younger! Oh, it's good to be back! We did it, you old coot! Who are you? The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! We join our heroes locked in a battle of wits. It's the Aquaphone! What is it, Chief? Uh, hello? 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 Uh, that phone is still broken. Uh, remind me to get that fixed. Remind you of what? Remind me of what? Will our heroes ever get their phone fixed? Tune in next week to find out. Wow, that was even better than the old show. It's all thanks to you. Possibly be trying to do this time. Well, I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just having a decent morning. By running around screaming like a banshee? Oh, Squidward. A banshee screams like this. There are two kinds of people. There are people who are normal. And then there's you. Really? Yes, really! Maybe you should try to be a little bit more... NORMAL! I'm... not normal? <sighs> Squidward, no. how does one become normal? Well, how about you start by... Getting away from me, you little creature! What's wrong with me? I need to understand normal! Hmm... How to be normal. This videotape should help. Are you tired of being called a freak? Do people throw you out of their homes? Well, do they? Yes, yes, and yes! Then join me as I take you on a journey into normality. Normality? The life of a normal person is rather simple. Here is your typical average Joe on his way to work. See how he's dressed. Even his hair is boring. Notice his features, nice and smooth, without a crater or freckle to be seen. Craters and freckles? In his office space, Mr. Normal, at least that's what it says on his name tag, works at a steady and monotonous pace, just as all the other normals do. Take note of how they communicate with each other. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? At the end of the day, Mr. Normal packs his things and goes home to merrily start the cycle again in the morning. Yeah. I want one Krabby Patty. 
Oh, great. SpongeBob, I need one Krabby Patty. What? No annoying blurbs today? Huh. Strangely quiet. SpongeBob? Hi, how are you? What's the meaning of this? I took your advice. From now on, I'm normal. Normal, huh? Yep. Oh, really? Yep. Whatever. I know you're just waiting to say something stupid. Wonderful weather we're having. Uh, uh, yes, it is. Okay, see you around. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, see ya. SpongeBob! What are you doing sitting around? We need Krabby Patties out there! Yes, sir. I'll do it normally. Eh? Oh, that's all it takes these days, huh? Could you do more? Oh my! It's like printing money! Huh. I wonder what got into SpongeBob. What the heck is that? Whose house is this? Hi, how are you? Uh, hi, SpongeBob. Hi, how are you? Oh, good. Just heading by to get a drink. Wonderful weather we're having. <laughs> it sure is. Okay, see you around. <laughs> yeah, see ya. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I could get used to this. Three weeks later. There you are, sir. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's time again. I've been meaning to say this, but I've come to appreciate your demeanor lately. You know, it's a funny thing, Squidward. I smoothed out the edges of my personality, and the rest just followed suit. Now I am utterly normal. <coughs> uh, hey, that ain't right. I will never spend money here again. Never? Come on, guys. These patties aren't worth the paper they're printed on. Wait, where are you going? Uh, SpongeBob, what are you doing back here? Do you expect the customers to eat this? And now thanks to you, they're leaving in boatloads. Maybe this thing's out of ink. Uh, no boy, you're missing the point. You can't make Krabby Patties with ink and paper. You gotta put your heart into it, boy. And now get back to making them patties the right way and stop acting so dull. Well, what you call dull, I call normal. Well, till you decide to start making them patties the only way you can, I want you out of me place! I guess the decision to be normal was more life-changing than I thought. Hi, how are you? <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, I got normal. Well, whatever that means. Hey, SpongeBob, what do you say we charge into jellyfish fields? Nuts ablaze! Oh, well, let's do something normal, like window shopping. Oh, 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 oh. let's do this! <laughs> hey, your turn! I think I'll pass, but I do need to defragment my hard drive. Would you like to help? Hey, listen. When you decide to do something fun, you know where to find me. Okay, see you around. Hi, how are you? I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but please come in, SpongeBob. Thank you. Tell me, what are you doing cooped up in here when the weather outside is so... normal? Well, today is dusting day, the day I dust my 483 self-portraits. <laughs> wow, that's something you don't see in the average house. You know, SpongeBob, it's okay to be a little different. Yeah, and you know what else is abnormal? Your nose. 
It's all bulbous and flabby. Your eyes are a little odd, too. Huh. Looks like your whole face could use some work. Yeah, there we go. Ah, see? Looking normal already. <coughs> One more thing, Squidward. You don't wear pants. And stay out of my home! Uh-huh. Oh, what happened? I lost my job, then my best friend, and now I'm too normal for Squidward. Maybe I have taken this normal thing too far. Oh, no problem, SpongeBob. You've made yourself normal. Now all you have to do is re-weird yourself. All it takes is a little mental adjustment and some tight clenching. Now focus and clench. Oh, well. If I'm going to get weird, I'm going to need to see a professional. <laughs> well, that's very nice, Patrick, but I need you to retrain me. I want to be abnormal again. Huh. Well, I don't think you have what it takes. Please, Patrick, if anyone can teach me the arcane art of the weird, it's you. Teach me how to be me again. <laughs> no, it won't be easy, but I'll do it. Oh, thank you, Patrick. But first, I'll need a garden hose, a flatbed truck, oh, and I'll need you to remove your trousers. <laughs> Patrick, I'm feeling very self-conscious right now. Try to concentrate on your first lesson in weird. <laughs> See you on the other side, buddy! <laughs> uh, mommy, Mommy, what are those things? Those are undesirables, honey. We only talk to normal people. SpongeBob! The weird therapy is working! Your craters are coming back! We just have to keep pushing the boundaries. We've got to get stranger! Talk backwards! Tap there, Sioira. Mm -hmm. It's happening! The final transformation! Huh? What happened? I don't know. I guess I became... permanently normal. No! I don't want to be normal! <laughs> It's me, Squidward. I'm looking for SpongeBob. Hi. How are you? Ah! Huh? SpongeBob, you're back to your square shape! Oh, wow! I guess Squidward's normal look scared me back to my original form. Thanks, buddy. You saved my life. Wonderful weather we're having. It sure is, buddy. It sure is.